hello one and hello all. Mmm. So I'm waiting for Mr. Schaefer to get here tonight. Past that, um, we've got a pretty good field. Uh, there's a good chunk of, um, good chunk of Delver. Good chunk of Delver. It's really dark. It's so dark. I don't know. How is everybody doing tonight? Is there anybody in chat even right now? I don't know. Tim was harassing me on Facebook. Tim, are you in chat? No, just M. Grisham. M, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Mm. Got a lot of good decks here. Got uh, actually a lot of Esper. A lot of Esper <laughs> Stoneblade. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of bug. We have a one bug list that doesn't have Deathrite Shaman in it, so that's interesting. Uh, let's see. And then uh, we've got elves. We got a mono blue deck. Uh, Grish uh, Grisham, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing well, doing well. Decided to uh, start drinking at like four today. Uh, got a good chunk of my work done, and then I have to go get dental work done tomorrow. So I was like, you know what, I should do. Let's uh, use some of this free office booze and drink it. So I did. And then I got pizza. And then I'm waiting for Greg to get here. So my guess is Greg will probably be here in about 15 minutes or so. Um, given the decks that we have, I'm probably going to go elves first. Um, Grisham, chime in if you'd like. I know we've got elves. we got some Esper Delver. We've got Bug Delver. And we got Charlotte's Bug. We've got... Uh, God, we actually have just a... We have Maverick, of course. Sydney, how you doing? Uh, like I said, Elves. Uh, nothing, like, super out of the norm other than, like, the kind of mono blue. Title still says Modern. I updated this shit. I'll update it again. Oh, error update in broadcast. That means... Let's see. It's probably going to tell me I'm signed out. No? No? Tell me I'm signed in. What the fuck? Alright. We're going to figure this out. Uh, dashboard. Hi, ah, yeah, I was signed out. Look at that. Look at that. God bless America. Alright. Legacy. Uh, plus uh, a little bit of giveaways. Giveaways. Done. Exclamation mark. Just to get the point across. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Now back to chat. Captain QC. Hello. Uh, so Charlotte's Bug. Meanwhile, elves, Charlotte's Agent, our legal monitor, I suppose. Let's watch... You want to see the death right list uh, bug thing? All right, Greg will be here soon. Greg is working. Greg had to work until seven. He works about thirty minutes away. Um, I imagine. Oh, I, I hear. I wasn't expecting Greg for another ten minutes. They have oh, do they? All right. Well, I'm gonna go get Greg up. I'll let you put your stuff down. Pizza's there. Okay. Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> I had to work till 7 p.m. today, so it took a little longer than I thought it was going to take to get here. Sorry. Also out of breath. Might have jogged from the train. So what did I miss? Anything? Doesn't really seem like it. Mark has Wild Nakato pulled up. I don't really know why. I guess because there's a pro tour tomorrow and it's modern. Sydney, you can borrow my hat. Can't keep it. The hat's me. Um, ooh, also looks like we have pairings, and it also looks like we have a feature match. Looks like Phil Silverman and Kyle Norman. Yep. Did, cool. you, did they give you a printout? Uh, no. I just walked through. So oh, okay. Right here, sorry. <laughs> All right. No I worries. Can go, I can go ask for a printout if you want. Uh, that would be okay. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, these guys up here. Also, did Simon drop off my boots somewhere? He did. Okay. I've got him over here. Right. We, got Ky we got Greg's boots. All right, everybody, everybody's got the boots. Um, all right, so, oh, no, no, no. Uh, bug? 
I guess. We'll just put bug. Uh, without. Oop. Death right. Alright, cool. Uh, oh no, Deathless Bug is just a way better name. There we go. Deathless Bug. Oh no. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta stay on top of this stuff. Yeah, man. I could go scope the room if you want. Oh, I've got an idea of what everybody's playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've already asked everybody what they're playing. It's just a matter of like knowing when they're actually playing. Yeah. Uh, Phil is on Elves. That is not how you spell Elves. Minus one E. <laughs> you know what? Elves, <laughs> elves deserves a lot of E's. Yeah, I guess. Phil did really well in Indianapolis. Did he? What did he end up at? He ended at 10 and 5. Which I think was min cash, but it's still something. That's probably what I would have ended at again. Um, you I dropped was, it. You dropped it four losses, right? Uh, I dropped it four losses with three, two or three rounds left to go. I think it was three. I think you went two and one on day two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you were sitting at eight and four when you dropped. Uh, time and round. Let's. We'll we'll go ahead and say we're starting right now. That seems about right. Yeah. I so, think your uh, <clears throat> your cost benefit analysis with three rounds to go over the weekend was probably correct, considering you had to either two one or three zero to make some amount of money. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh goodness, I'm so off my game right now. What? I'm gonna blame you, Greg. Off to the races. Yep. <laughs> Phil's at 19 off of uh, wooded footlands, uh, foothills. <laughs> I've been drinking, and I haven't done this. Uh, I just realized I have not commentated in yeah. forever. I'm well, rusty. You'll be fine, because it's rusty. 18, 18 time. It's eight, it is 18. <laughs> High five. <laughs> we got pizza, so we'll just be going, um, 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 while yeah. I'm commentating. It'll be great. That's what 18 people do. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, God. speak with food in their mouths. Yep, so let's see. Uh, no, Wham Loser. <coughs> Oh, wait, Wham Loser followed. He's from my brother's channel. That's sweet. Yeah, I don't think he's watching, but good to know. So we have, uh, we saw a Death Rite Shaman from Phil and then a Disfigure immediately from Kyle. Yep. Do you like the name I gave Kyle's deck? Deathless Bug? <laughs> yeah. That's something. Uh, actually, so let's put Death Rite Shaman up there to get it actually something relevant on screen. Yep. Uh, it was interesting that Phil kind of had to fetch... Uh, turn one basic forest because the meta games changed back to like wasteland being a real card. Oh yeah, I know. Phil is just flooding the board now in turn two. Um, an issue might be that he doesn't have a threat card to follow all this up. Like he has Pendlehaven to make his guys a little more threatening. Yeah. And I suppose Kyle doesn't have a, a creature yet, so like he's gonna be able to attack for five, no six a turn currently. Oh, but that wasteland off the top is gonna kind of neuter that Pendlehaven, and then Phil's only got one card in hand, right? Yeah, I mean, ideally it would be like a natural order, but even if it was like a green sun zenith, that would be okay. Yeah. If it's a land, that's not great. We got a hash. We got a hashtag uh, fetch that suck. Oh. Got to rep it. Okay. Because they're both at nineteen now. They, they are. would not be there yes. if they didn't have it. They you're also. Gonna, you're gonna like that pizza, Greg. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's so good. It's a good pizza? Oh my oh, god. Oh man. <laughs> they did scary. not, I said extra spinach, they did not skimp. Yes. Good for them. Kyle's gonna go down to 18 though. This looks like a pizza that someone ripped open a bag of spinach on top <laughs> they, of They really did just dump that on there. <laughs> <laughs> Normally they don't put that much. I'm happy. I like this I don't like this pizza. Um, but so Kyle Kyle gonna fetch that Vernon Catacomb, going down to 18, gonna get a uh, tropical island, and uh, now he's just shuffling. I imagine that Delver in his hand is going to come down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Sure. So. He's but kind of behind the clock here, though. He is. I mean, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> Johnny Turbo mm -hmm. blinks, and now there's a massive board mm -hmm. presence. It happens. So we're swinging for one, two, four, five? Potentially six with the Pendlehaven. Okay. Kyle doesn't have a good block here because of the Pendlehaven. And the fact that you don't really want to be blocking No, the you don't want to. I mean, well, which is fine. Phil's not activating Pendlehaven. Kyle's going to go down to 13 from that. Kyle's got some life to give. I don't think Kyle's really worried about uh, 
just a damage from attacks. At least not in this stage of the game yet. But Kyle or er, but Phil's gonna fill, follow that up with a uh, Elvish Visionary. It's one of the better follow ups you could have. Yeah. Really, just keep him digging, digging for his action spells. Yeah. Kyle tap the man for a ponder. He really needs a Tarmogoyf to hold the ground because he is losing this race, especially with the Delver not flipping. Yeah. Delver not flipping, not much coming up. He's going to shuffle off that ponder. If you're Phil, you got to be happy to see it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm always happy when I see a ponder. <laughs> when I see an opponent shuffle a ponder. I didn't have a lot of shuffles against me this past weekend. Johnny Turbo, I agree. Terramorphic Expanse, the best fetch land. <laughs> um, I'm more of an evolving wild kind of guy. Aw, oh, fuck you, you new age kids. I like that Innistrad art. All right, so Phil's going to try to shuffle away uh, the Verdant Catacombs. We're going to see a stifle out of Kyle. Kyle also played the Wasteland and got rid of that Petal Haven. Um, so Phil all of a sudden pretty light on mana. Mm -hmm. Granted, he's got he's got a few things. He's got that Boar's Loaded Ranger. So. Yeah, I mean, he has two Quarian Rangers as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't think Kyle can block here, <laughs> but he's also not winning the race. So, yeah. I don't really know what he's supposed to do. This Beaker also, is a 1-1, one, one, right? This is 3 mana. Activating Quarian to get a 4th. Look, this looks like a natural order. That would be bad. Yeah. I mean, it, this can get dazed. And he can't play around it. Oh! oh. And that's a concession. <laughs> so, so, Phil did play natural order. And, and Kyle, Kyle did not have anything. Kyle just picked that. Just pick, just pick that old big bad bow bot up. I know Kyle played against the elves a lot in Indianapolis, and I think it might have been one or two of his losses and wanted to really fix this matchup. Mm -hmm. So you might see I imagine a lot of hate coming in here. I mean, he's just flicked how many cards out Ten of the cards. board? Ten cards out of the board. It Kyle's might not all come in. These might just be the ones <clears> you're considering, <throat> but... Wham, I know you talked. I mentioned you already. I said, oh, look, Wham followed. He's from my brother's stream. Mm -hmm. So, bam, Wham. Wham, 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 bam. bam. Thank you, man. Thank you, Wham. Thank No, maybe. <laughs> I'm Jinky. Okay. Like Jinkies? Mm -hmm. Like Scooby-Doo? Either yes. way, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, the Twitch email mod said modern. I was told there'd be modern. I apologize. I updated. I did not know Twitch had logged me out. Okay. Twitch had logged me out, so I updated it. But it updates error. And I'm doing a lot of things when I get here, setting stuff up. <laughs> and the message that says, like, successful versus error is yeah. ex identical to each other. That's a shame. <laughs> um, which is, for my profession, it's just a bad idea. Wow. It's just a bad user experience. Does it have different So words? that happens. Leanne 10, I'm sorry. But now you get to see Legacy, which some argue is a better format. Yeah. Some, not all. Modern's Wednesday. Sorry. Modern guys. is Wednesday. Sorry. Wednesday's at the same time on Wednesdays. Ugh. So, you... <laughs> Tonight is actually Team Rochester draft. Uh. Ah. Well, maybe we can look into fulfilling that desire. That niche. Oh, my goodness. I know. I don't think there that exists on Twitch. Oh, Phil just showed us a... Uh, I think that Progenitus was going into his deck. Really? I believe so. Maybe. I had a big long talk with Phil about Progenitus this weekend. Also a big long talk with Matt Hoey about it after yeah. he drew it against me. And when he died with it in his hand in a very good matchup, he wanted to destroy it. <laughs> to be fair, Phil had a game where he could actually hard cast Progenitus. Could he actually, or yes. were people just No, 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 he had, he had the enough query. No, he there. had to untap with Deathrite Shaman, though. Didn't he? Uh, like, no, I, I thought he had it. I never let him have Deathrite active. Oh, I forgot, that was the game against you. Yes. <laughs> he still won. He was still one of my Maybe. four losses. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. Apparently, Mike Legacy better than Modern comment. Spark some hatred. Maybe. Uh, can the mod explain email? What's going on here? Uh, so, Tim, I'm going to upload the streams at some point. 
I've got tomorrow off because I have to go to the doctor. So I'm going to try to get all the streams. I've got like two weeks two weeks worth of streams that I really need to get up. I've been slacking. I've just been really busy. What a jokester. I know. Can I have another slice? Huh? Can I have another slice? Yeah, dude. You have half the pizza. Yes. Uh, better, but the price is steep. The price is very steep. I apologize. Like, it wasn't as bad a couple years ago. What's steep? The price of the barrier of entry to Legacy is pretty high now. Yeah. Is that pizza not awesome, though? It's pretty good. All right, here you guys go. You go to you go to Pizza Hut. Their new pizzas are actually pretty good. You get hand-tossed. You get extra salami. Okay? You get their premium uh, crushed pepper sauce. Okay? You get, uh, you get some extra spinach. You get extra banana peppers. You get normal cherry peppers. Normal green peppers. Uh-huh. All right? Then you get, uh, did I already say extra spinach? If I did, whatever. Then you get the Asiago crust and the garlic butter crust, okay? And the balsamic drizzle. That's good things. I feel like you should call out the spinach again because you aren't really doing justice just how much spinach <laughs> is they, on they, they put pizza. a lot of spinach on there. So it looks like Phil's going to... Sh- oh, they're both shipping it back, actually. So that's fun. I, uh, mean, I eat a lot of spinach, and this is a lot of spinach. <laughs> I eat a lot of spinach, too. I go through a half a bag every time I make a salad. It's amazing. You know an entire bag of spinach is only 50 calories? Sure. Fun fact for the day. Uh, I thought about making Belcher because you can use it without duels. That's very true. Uh, I would say, like, I can't even say mud anymore because, like, City of Traders are very expensive. And yeah. since they unbanned Metal Worker and Le- or EDH, that's gone up. The thing is, you really... <clears throat> I think the best way to look at Legacy is, is as an investment... Like, if you buy your way into one deck that you think you, that you would like for a very long time, it's going to last. Yeah. More so than a modern deck, because bannings aren't as prevalent, more so than standard, because rotation doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, you run, and we've both run into this, where we start getting a little bored of the deck, though. And at that, point, at that point, you gotta kind of, <clears throat> you, gotta, you gotta breathe some new life into it any way that you can. Like, I mean, I've been on MUD since... Return of Mirrodin, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, that's been a while. I mean, I've been playing Death I, and Taxes since... You've been for like, a while. Like a year and a half, yeah. solidly. But I play pretty often, and I'm not really tired of it yet. So, Spike Mo has premium salami for me. Apparently, Spike Mo orders some Pizza Hut as well, because I just said salami. I never said anything about the premium salami. Uh, I'd like to point that out, um, but <coughs> Kyle's gonna blind flip that Delver. Good things. Uh, ponder from him on Phil's turn. Phil just went by you and then to Deathrite Shaman, which isn't a terrible start. Uh, but looks like Kyle might be pretty aggressive. Yeah, and he has Golgari Charm in hand now. Oh, does he? That was a card he flipped. Oh God. Let me move this over. Ah, uh, sure. We can move that over. We can't both be shoving pizza in our mouth, so. Okay. That'll meet, that'll lead to bad things. I'll wait. I'll wait until you're done with that piece you're holding. Okay. Oh god, and the mouse is kind of. Oh. Here, just put the mouse in the pizza. Put the mouse in the pizza. On the pizza. On the pizza. All right, good. <laughs> is Kyle gonna go down to 18 here? Yep. Off of. Oh god. See, look, I can't even click now. Eh, deal with it. Everybody blame Greg if the life totals are off. <laughs> 118 <laughs> life, Greg's fault. Yep. Uh, so <laughs> Kyle's just gonna fetch up another tropical island, cast Ponder off of it. We see a disfigure. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps a disfigure. The two lands he doesn't really want, but yeah. that seems disfigure like seems really it. good. Hopefully, one of those lands to fetch something so he can clear the top of his deck after next turn. Yeah, both the lands that he has on top are fetches. What are those two shiny cards he has in the back of his hand? Are those both Hooting Mandrills? Oh God. Drawing two hooting mandrels seems. Sometimes bad. you gotta hoot. Hooting. They definitely have diminishing returns. Yep. <laughs> Especially because death right is making them more expensive. Oh wow! So Phil glimpses. Phil glimpses and then uses death right shaman. Does he have a cradle? I guess not. Oh man, he's eating oh, I know. all of Kyle's graveyard now. Oh, that's rough. Yep. Kyle yeah, really need those fetches. That's that strict uh, value. This is just that value glimpse, which, I mean, he still drew four cards this turn, so which is perfectly eh, fine. three cards, but, yeah, that's plenty. Uh, four cards, including the draw step. Sure. 
Oh, man. Um, Kyle, it seems like he actually can Mandrills this turn. The Golgari charm is super awkward, though, because it only kills Quarian Ranger. Yeah. That's a little rough. Where, you know, it's hard, it's hard to say, like, Toxic Deluge <laughs> would be better because it would kill his own Delver, but... Everybody agrees that it's your fault the life totals are off. I agree. <laughs> um, Grisham, I have considered putting some shenanigans. I'm actually, like, blue is the latest kick that I'm on right now. Because Master Transmuter is a house. Um, I'm glad you found us as well. I'm glad you're watching. Uh, Kyle has a Disfigure go after a Quirion Ranger. Which is again awkward because that was the one creature that his Golgari that, yeah, turn guard, kills. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he did it because that's cutting Phil on mana. So he did attack. So Phil's down at 17. Uh, Kyle fetched again. Kyle's down to 17. Kyle's going to be able to uh, delve away his whole graveyard for Mandrills now. Mm. Sometimes you got a hootie. Yep. Hmm. If Phil had seen this coming, he could have possibly eaten another land with Deathrite, but it's really hard to say that that was yeah, that, that's, on Phil's That's mind Kyle's all. line. Yeah. yeah. Hootie Mandrills, 4-4, four, four, Trample, a green and uh, five colorless with Delve. It's good things. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Hootie. Yep. I think this a right. spot alongside Tossiger. He's all right. Ah. The Trample is pretty good. I think the Trample is very relevant. The trample obviously. is very relevant here. Yeah. With uh, Symbiote and Korean Ranger shenanigans. Um, do we know if Kyle is playing Tossiger? I'm I, imagine like one or two copies. I'm not positive that he is. I know after the weekend, he was very much more on the Hooting Mandrels bandwagon than right. the Tossiger bandwagon. Yep. Indeed. Um, but uh, I'm not not to say that he's not running any. And this is seven coming at Phil, and he really doesn't have a good block. Yep. Mandrels is looking good here. And uh, Boston, how are you doing? You haven't come back to commentate. I hope I didn't scare you away too much. And then skip a 80, man. Thank you for following. Phil dropping to seven here. And that is Dropping a, to seven? Or yes. dropping to ten? They have him at seven. Uh, okay. Well, he got hit twice by the Delver. Oh, I missed one of the Delvers. Before this. Yeah. That's my fault. And that is a Graft Digger's Cage. Kyle had a good draw this turn. Yeah, this, Kyle, this game, this Kyle's game has really worked out this game. Phil needed to go even more insane with the glimpse. <laughs> yeah. Going down to six. Sometimes you don't have the draw. Yeah, I mean, Phil knows he has to go for it here. Or else just nothing is going to happen. I mean, here I don't even know what he goes for is the problem. Flood the board, I guess. And then yeah. provide enough blockers for Hootie. And, and somehow not die in the Delver, two Delver attacks. And then, like, overrun, overrun. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my, that's my... Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. Yep. He could find... So Decay can kill the Delver, but he doesn't have the mana for it currently. Unless he has another... I don't think he has another... I think he already played his land for the turn, actually. Um, this is a pretty bad spot for Phil. Mm hmm. He might have to try to kill the Hooting Mandrels <laughs> with an attack, actually. Or with a like a gang block. Which but probably isn't going to work, considering Kyle just showed three cards of awesomeness gas well, on top of his deck. If he puts all four creatures in front of the Mandrels, Kyle would need two spot removal spells to make it not die. And he only has two cards in his hand. I think I would gang block, and then next turn he can just abrupt decay the flip delver. Sure. I mean, it is gonna kill up to. It could could kill. Huh. So he's just blocking with one, it seems like. I think I would just. Alright, because Kyle's gonna be able to play another Hootie. Yeah, I mean, Phil doesn't know that, but. Like, what does this really accomplish? Like, he's not really close to winning the game. There's a Graft Digger's Cage in play. He needs, like, time to draw out of this, it seems like. 
Oh, there's a Hootie and the Blowfish joke in chat. Yeah. Made me, made me chuckle. You want to sing a song with me? Not really. <laughs> Andrew sang it with me. Why won't you sing it with me? Um. <laughs> yeah. Greg, why? Not really a Hootie and the Blowfish kind of person. Uh, Kyle, Phil gaining, uh... Gaining some life, but he's still taking the... Yeah. He's gaining two life off the death right. Right, but he took two from the trample damage. Yeah. And then, of course, the three from the Delver. Right. Is Phil just trying to do something broken? I think Phil is just SOL. Well, I just... I don't understand the not quad blocking, but... Maybe he has a more threat-dense hand than I can really see here. Um... What is he counting up? I don't know what's happening here. I don't know. He's counting like he can do something, mm. but there's a Graph Diggers cage. He's forgotten he's playing Elves, and he thinks he's playing Storm. Yeah. That's that's my... He's trying to count to ten, when he actually yeah. needs to <laughs> count to Natural Order. <laughs> <laughs> well, Natural Order doesn't do anything because exactly. Graph Diggers cage. Has to count to Crater Hoof Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle piling piling in again. Um, Greg, do you have a Playgirl photo of Darius Rucker in your wallet? I, I'm gonna go with ninety percent yes. I do not. I have a very uh, small wallet that cannot fit such extraneous. It is tattooed on his back, though. <laughs> tattooed on his back. Yep. Heard it here. Yep. <laughs> uh, down to one. This is what happened. I'm trying to eat pizza. Looking, looking pretty bad. I can move the pizza out of the way for now. No, I'm on. eating pizza. All right. I may have one more slice. Phil draws a card that likely doesn't matter. Not sure what could possibly get him out of this. Uh, hand job. Seems like glimpse issued of by Greg. Yeah. So Phil just concedes. <laughs> doesn't want that hand job. Greg does. Greg, you do good things. I want. I don't want you to. Put yourself down about that, okay? All right, no problem. I'll oh, try to... there's now balsamic dressing on the mouth. Good job. I, it, it is a good job. You are will be doing that the rest of the night now. <laughs> Whatever. I have a balsamic allergy. I don't believe you. You've been eating this pizza. <laughs> Ow. Yep. That's an eating sound. <laughs> <laughs> Going to game three here. And, uh, so who do you think actually has the upper hand? I think it... I mean, so I think Phil has to win game one because, like, if Bug Delver wants a good Elves matchup, it's probably getting it through sideboard cards, which we see that Kyle is uh, dedicating himself to. <laughs> he brought yeah. in ten cards, which is pretty heavy. And uh, so, like, I mean, I think that really puts the pressure on Phil to win game one, which he did. He lost game two on the draw to a draw from Kyle that was like super interactive and also had a good amount of pressure. Like that's yeah. the that's the combination for being a combo deck usually. And I mean now that Phil's on the play again, I I want to say he's slightly favored, but like with all that hate, it's hard to say that uh, you know Phil's super favored. I'd probably give him like a 55-45 edge in this game, something along those lines. Um, St. Dan Angel wants to know, why do they shuffle the cards in their hand so much? It's a fun tick. I do it too. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, so the, like, best practices or best operations reason is, like, you draw your card for the turn and you want to shuffle it into your hand so, like, your opponent can't just, like, watch your eyes or, like, watch, you know, the card go into your hand and immediately out of your hand. You know, they can't get that added info that, uh, you know, maybe you play the land immediately that you just drew or something, oh. and that's just free information. I feel he's going to go Forest, and then uh, Green Sun for zero, going to get himself a Dryad Arbor, ramp himself a little bit. Kyle is just going to go Underground Sea, Delver, Pass. Um, the follow-up answer to that thing with the hand shuffling is players get it into their head that it's, it's good for them to shuffle their hands, but then... <laughs> they have nothing to do sometimes yeah. on their opponent's turn, so it's like, eh. For me, it's more of a nervous tick than right. like anything else. Yeah. 
Um, like having your leg shake or you know anything. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Greg actually is a sub, so um, wow. you cannot sub him. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I in fact keep three photos of Darius Rucker in my wallet. Uh, there's technically no point letting your opponent know if you're casting a card you just drew sometimes. It's correct. We just talked about that. Greg loves the cold sausage. Don't know about that. <laughs> Cook, how you doing? <laughs> uh, damn rules. I can't play a card in my hand. Uh, Greg, you're supposed to be paying attention to this. I am. Okay. Doing a great job. Uh, just make mendrils of agony and delver of half times. I have no idea what that means. Chess rules. Let an object of me. I have no idea. Uh, there's too much what chat. If, what about too much rules? I don't know. <laughs> it's too late. It's gone. It's gone away. All right. Uh, I don't really believe hypothetical that. blocks. How is everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Urborian, I have not played Pathfinder lately. I know that question was directed at Cook, but I'm going to take it over. Uh, Cook, I'm doing good. Unless you're talking about chess rules, in case you might know better than me. I do know better. Oh my god, I look over, Phil's got a whole board. Yeah. He just did a lot of stuff on one turn. He did some stuff on turn two. Kyle brainstormed in his own upkeep and set up uh, Delver to flip via a revealed Abrupt Decay. Reveal, okay. He attacked Phil down to 17, now is fetching away a Verdant, getting a Trop, and following this up with... He might have another Delver in hand. Not totally sh certain. I'm sure. Yep, yep, another Delver in hand. He looks like he has a very threat heavy interaction light draw. Like, he doesn't have a counter spell right now. All he has is an Abrupt Decay and a Wasteland. So, like, if Phil just has a uh, Natural Order, it's not getting stopped. <coughs> I try to say your name correctly. <laughs> They were just saying that everybody says it wrong, and they're crying because they're so happy I've said it correctly. Yep. Yeah. Phil I tried to say everybody's name correctly. Phil offering the trade with Korean Ranger here, and Kyle accepts, actually. So he's he's willingly slowing down his clock. Huh. He just wants attrition. Like, his, hands, his hand has a lot of threats. So, like, he wants to just slow Phil down, if at all possible. Phil does have a good follow-up here, though, in Elvish Visionary, because he can rebuy it with Wirewood Symbiote. Mm. And Kyle's next turn, it looks like he's going to have a choice between Tarmogoyf and Abrupt Decay. And it'll be interesting to see which path he decides to take. How many cards does Phil have in hand? I think he has, like, six. He has a lot of in oh, hand. Oh, Phil's got... Oh, he has okay. a lot of cards in hand. Oh, wait, maybe, like, three or four. Hard to tell. He has a Dryad Arbor, a Glimpse, a Nettle Sindel, and an Elvish Visionary. He has four cards in hand. Hmm. I'm telling this, I'm counting because I'm looking at the art as he flicks by. <laughs> <laughs> like a, one of those like flip book picture things. <laughs> so right. I actually like this play from Kyle. It's just Abrupt Decay on the... Symbiote? Yeah, yeah. And the Symbiote. I agree. Phil Possibly is... forcing him to blink his uh, yeah, Visionary. Yeah, Phil's weighing the benefit of... The thing is, like, he already has another one in his hand. It might actually be better for him just to leave creatures in play in case he draws, like, Heritage Druid or... That's fair. Cradle. <laughs> Oof. All right. The Wasteland follow from Kyle. Yeah, that wasn't too good. Oh. Yeah. There's an Activate Squaring Ranger. Right. I... If he was going to... It's awkward there because... I mean, it wasn't going to get it. Like, it wasn't going to actually do anything. How the fuck do you spell Quirin? Q U I R I O N. I think I would have just. Wait, what? Q U I R I O N. <laughs> if he just leaves up the wasteland, it pins. Nope, that's not it. Other Quirin. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> if he just leaves up the uh, wasteland, he can pin down what the Quirion Ranger is able to do every turn, or mm -hmm. it allows him to just have more mana on this, his fourth turn. This looks like an abrupt decay on a flip delver. Now Kyle's the one without any pressure. Hootin' Mandrills. 
looking to get big. <laughs> I think he's deciding whether or not he wants to fetch before doing this because he wants to. He also has a Tarmogoyf in his hand, which is awkward. All right, so he's delving five. He's leaving creature in his graveyard. Now he's fetching, so he'll be able to play Tarmogoyf. So, all right, Kyle has taken some hits. Yeah. Greg, you're supposed to you're supposed to help me out on this. Sorry, I think he's fetched three times. Oh, he's at fifteen according to the dial. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, uh, photosynthesis. How do I say Omer scratch Nietzschean? That's how I say it. Uh, why is he using proxy cards for his delvers? They're just checklist cards. It's all good. Yeah, light color sleeves. Um, if you look very carefully, you might be able to see certain parts of the card that you shouldn't. Basically, that's all you. Thank you. Um, because it's legacy, it's a format of expensive stuff. That's why everybody has foils. Yep. Including um, twenty-five cent foil hooting mandrels. Uh, no, I think I think they're more than that now. What fifty cents? I thought they were like two bucks. That seems over. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I did change the natural order art to not natural order, mm. so that's that works. Uh, Lovely. Deathless Bug is still, it's just Bug Delver without Death, Death Rite Shaman. More threats. That's all. More just big threats. Um, Nam namely Hooting Mandrels. Yeah. Mm. Alright, this looks like... Alright, this looks like a green sun for one getting Heritage Druid. So Phil declaring to us that he needs mana. Actually, Cupcake, I'm going to say that that's probably actually pretty light. That's pretty uh, that they have one box. Of, they have one box of a. Set. They started playing six months ago. Have one box of a set. They have a couple different decks. Yeah, I have a problem. I bought like eighty boxes. By eighty, I mean like seven. That's a lot of boxes. In my first six months, I of, like actually coming back. I haven't bought many boxes in my life. <clears throat> Hootie plus Goyf seem awkward. What's your take? I agree. Oh, <laughs> uh, I have no. Idea. All right, I gotta. Are Norman's Goyf's foil not yet? I don't no believe. Way. Those are too expensive. No, <laughs> he'll he'll get them eventually. He's got money to throw the away. The price goes down. Foil Goyf is what, like almost a thousand dollars? No. Yes. Is it? Oh, it was, it was like four hundred last time I looked. I mean, so. uh, non-foil is two hundred. What? Yeah. Oh, sweet so. God! <laughs> All right, this is why I don't play colors in Legacy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh God. All right, so Phil's going off. Yeah, Phil's just doing some things. He also is sandbagging a Gaia's Cradle in his hand. And they want to know why Kyle's uh, lands are in front, purposely to try to tilt his opponents, which, judging by chat, generally works. Uh, I think it tilts uh, the viewers more than the, the opponent. Oh, ho foil hooting is one dollar. Holy, cr we're so be far behind in chat. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead. Yeah, uh, keep your A game, Mark. I'm I know. looking at the match. I know you are, but you're not control. All right, here you control. Oh no! You control. Oh no! I'm just answering chat now. No. Boom. This is terrible. That was a power play. That was a power play. It's all right. You Wait. didn't know Goyce were two hundred, Mark? No, I did not know Goyce were two hundred. I yeah. had no. I gotta eat this pizza real quick. Oh god! Okay. So all right, you eat the pizza. Texas. There was so much spinach. I, I tasted the iron. Yeah. You can taste the iron. Uh, Phil's just doing some shit right now. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we'll be honest. This is what he's gonna do. He's gonna cat. He's gonna keep doing this. He's gonna play. Uh, he's gonna play natural order. Uh, I think this is past the can't or the can't he's fail. Gonna, he's, yeah, he's gonna play this card. Basically. He's gonna go get uh, crater crater hoof behemoth, uh, which is uh, oh crater. Wait, how do I, do I not spell crater hoof? Crater. There are not two T's. No, that's what I did, and then I put H. Nothing. That's catter hoof. <laughs> I don't, how do you spell crater? There's an R <laughs> after the C. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. I didn't know that not as, uh, had that. Fun so facts. That Mark never passed second grade. <laughs> Hey, I won the fourth grade spelling bee, and then I stopped. Yeah, it's weird that and you won the fourth grade stopped. spelling bee without passing second grade <laughs> spelling. It's very strange. Uh, anyway, he's just going to cast Crater Hook Behemoth. He's going to do some things. This match is going to be over. Uh, we'll bring you back to the booth. You can see Greg stuffing his face, yep. because that's all he does. Hello, everyone. That's all he, he does. Um, I like to eat. I'm going to go try to find us another match really quick. That sounds great. 
I'm gonna eat this pizza. No, I'll stop. Good. So I think oh, everyone here we've mm-hmm. we've got we've got actually two pretty cool giveaways today. Ooh. We have an actual Legends land tax. That's sweet. It's got somebody tried to cover up the a little bit of wear on there, a little <laughs> bit of marker. Well, but it's very all well, right. very well covered. Well covered. And then we have a, a signed Vindicate. Let me let me just go ahead and we'll show these. So there's a land tax. We'll give that away at some point. I don't know when. Mm-hmm. Whenever I feel like it. Correct. Whatever Greg feels like it. Uh, probably Mark, actually. <laughs> and then here's the uh, foil, the signed Vindicate. Not foil, that. not foil. It's not foil. This, not uh, foil. I had an issue of Sideboard Magazine back in the day when uh, the set Apocalypse came out and it had the art from Vindicate on it, and I thought it was like the coolest shit ever. It's, it's a good thing. Vindicate has sweet, sweet art. It does. All right, I'm going to try to find some of the match. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. I think we saw play out in that third game there how I generally feel about that sort of matchup. Um, you know, Bug Delver can sideboard a lot of cards for that, for the Elves matchup. You know, like, really improve their percentages in games two and three. But the problem is, like, at its core, like, the core strategy is just what Elves is doing there is, like, fundamentally... Um, advantageous against like a Delver strategy. They can grind out better than Delver can because of Elvish Visionary and basically any number of Golgari charms and Disfigures is really kind of just stemming the bleeding and trying to just like hold back the inevitable. Like Kyle is actually the aggressor there. He needs to keep those Flip Delvers and Tarmogoyves and Hooting Mandrills all like actually attacking profitably and we saw there that Phil was actually kind of able to play the control role just abrupt decaying Kyle's threat and basically just dominating the board and Kyle just didn't see that relevant interaction that he really needed like the the heavy hitting cyborg cards basically but Mark is out in the field looking for other matches. Hopefully we can get a game three because there's still about 15 minutes left in the round. Um, Johnny Turbo asks in the chat, what stops elves from being a bigger thing in modern? Um, the most powerful bannings, or the most powerful cards that are banned in the format is pr- it's probably a uh, glimpse of nature. Um, it's legal in terms of the set, but it's on the banned list, unfortunately, or fortunately if you're looking at it like that. Um, also, as people point out in the chat, no natural order to go get Crater Hoof Behemoth and make that uh, an easy win. Also, Green Sun Zenith is banned. Really, there are a lot of cards and elves that are banned in modern that could make it a lot better. Yeah. Also, I you, mean, we had Elf Ball and Standard back right. in the day, and that worked fine. I mean, so even more innocuously, you don't have Wirewood Symbiote, so you don't have the Elvish Visionary combo to really sure. grind people out. Like, there's so many upgrades you get from the Legacy version. In the modern version, you're stuck playing, what, like, Beck and Call or something? <laughs> or, like, weird, uh, like, infinite loops with uh, that three-mana artifact that lets you bounce things when you cast them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you been reading chat? I have been. Did you say hundred and twenty-seven? I did not say did that. Did you did you thank them for I did following? not say that. I'm well, sorry. You're bad. Hundred and twenty seven, thank you for following. I'm very sorry. <laughs> thank you for following. Uh what about those Murlocs? Oh, oh Murlocs are. Do you really not? Did you never play WoW? Nope. Oh, you're a terrible nerd. Sorry. Wow. You're wearing an owl hat and you've never played WoW. There's something, like, I think owls, wrong I think with owls that. owls predate WoW. No, I don't think they did. I think, like, uh... I think they surfaced right around the same time. That's weird. Uh, playing it in Chandelar, and I just imagine a Dread deck with it. Fair enough. Uh... Illusions deck, you forgot my one mana draw seven, bro. Yeah. Deal with it. Mm-hmm. Hey everybody, see our t-shirt? That is our t-shirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna mail like five of them out. To people. Just to people. Nice. To people, yeah. Uh, mark on my screen, S to B. It happens. You know, it's a beautiful thing when it does. And you can just kind of uh, Hold yourself to it. Uh, so, 
match wise, mm -hmm. probably not looking at getting anything else. Well, there I take that back. There was a Lands versus Esper Stoneblade match that was in game one. And it didn't look like it was gonna finish. So, uh, Maybe people shouldn't play lands. <laughs> um, so there was that. Our friend Matt Seckle on day one of SCG Indy made day two because he went five, one, and three. Ooh, do I remember the first rare card that I got? I don't remember the exact first rare because mine's sweet. Back then they didn't like back when I was playing. Like I didn't they didn't mark it. They didn't mark it. Yeah. So like I just played what I thought was good at the time. Do you know what set you started with? Fourth. Sure. Yeah. But the actual first card that I remember that had the rare marking, Thorn uh -huh. Elemental. Sure. From, from the, the uh, uh, starter. From the starter thing? set, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that had the starter disc for Magic Online. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah, the, good. The, the very first pack I bought was Mirage, and my rare was Phyrexian Dreadnought. <laughs> and That's I, had, you I had no <laughs> idea what the text meant. <laughs> Barry, wait. I play it, and it just dies unless I have a million other things. Perfect. Uh, I mean Perfect. that was that was like uh that was like when we when uh Pokemon first came out, we were all on the playground. Mm hmm Uh Arcane? Arcanine? Arcanine, yeah. Yeah. That was like that had the hundred HP. Like we okay. just played by whoever had the most HP. <laughs> Don't worry. We were in fourth grade. Doesn't matter, you know? It's a good point. It's good. Uh, I had punch a, each other like, in the this, face. This, this, this is the crazy thing. I had a better understanding in fourth grade and earlier of magic than I did of Pokemon. Oh, I thought you were going to say of magic than you do now. <laughs> yes, than I do now, which is actually that's probably true. Yeah. My fourth grade self would be like, you, you are an idiot. You, you don't, don't, you don't know how to cast magic. And yeah. I'd be like, you were correct. Yes. In fact, I do not. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> That's to you. That is to you. Uh, I bought that when I went to Japan. Japanese Arcanine. All right, fair enough. I went to Japan. I meant to go to some card shops. Mm -hmm. I did not. I failed to do that. Yeah. Failed to do that. And These cards uh, are so expensive over there. They're not really. I, hey, I found one place that was $6 a pack. It was 600 yen. That's expensive. Or 600 N. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay. This is also the time where everybody was charging like four fifty five dollars for a pack. When in the frick was that? Uh, 2011 ish. Why on people, earth? Because everybody stopped doing the three for ten. They were just like four fifty. I don't know. At least in where I was living. Fuck you, Greg. Calling my shit. Don't buy packs. Friends don't let friends buy packs. Shh. No. No spinach. I've had too much oh, spinach. I like the spinach. It's good. Mm -hmm. Um, first rare was uh, Final Punishment from Scourge. Okay. I was <laughs> apparently Johnny Turbo, coolest kid in the playground. I hear commotion, so I do. I've been looking at MTG for the first time in ten years. I played Legacy Vintage before. I quit and still have them on my cards. Frozen, you are a rich person right now. Uh, the price of things is blowing my mind. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're. You just. You have a lot of money. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, call me. Um, <laughs> call Greg. Call Greg me. will. <laughs> Greg will give you twenty five percent of what your cards are valued at. I'll give you more than that. But, <laughs> but it'll be cash money. Won't be credit. That'll be good. Thanks. Yep. Might be fake money, but <laughs> cash. <laughs> um, and I was excited to see a first edition foil with chop. I don't yeah, it think happens. that would have occurred in foil. Uh, until I realized it was an intro pack one. Yep, Machamp, not Machop. What did I say? Is it Machop? Yeah. Machamp, fuck it! That's the basic! Oh! Alright, I hear commotion. I'm gonna go make sure that we get a match on. Alright, do it. Try to get something not lands, please. Right, please! Lands. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Rye in the chat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have a land tax for giveaway and a signed Vindicate, all courtesy of MTG Card Market, our gracious hosts. <sighs> yeah, it is inked. Someone uh, was trying to cover up the wear in the bottom corner, so like down here. So there's a slight bit of marker in the bottom corner, but I think it's still worth a good amount of money. So, 
three things are free, right? <sighs> Let's see. So what else is going on? Are people excited for the Pro Tour tomorrow? Any predictions? Any break? Like, are cards, any card prices already spiking? Does anyone know? I always like to keep up with these things. Because usually some information breaks out the day before because, like, the vendors on site will leak some info maybe sometimes or they'll go around and start buying things out themselves so I'm curious to see if anything comes of this I guess it is sort of an established format so things might not shake out or sh get shaken up as much as uh, we might hope for <laughs> some predictions in response to my question include fairies and pain I'm sure there will be plenty of pain both dealt and received. I agree with that prediction. Fairies, I would be, I'd be cool with that. I think I've never gotten a chance to play the deck myself, but I, I foresee that I would enjoy playing that. So if the deck becomes good, it probably takes affinity getting hated out of the format, I would imagine, because that matchup seems atrocious. But other than that, sounds good to me. Yeah. We got Dredge versus something coming okay. up in about two minutes. Door. It's not, the round hasn't started, Greg. Oh, uh, thank you. Ow, <laughs> you hit me in the eye. <laughs> uh. Mark just hit me in the eye with a cork. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, I bought you pizza, you can't complain. Yeah, does that make me uh, a prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does, in fact. All right, a pizza prostitute. I, I paid for your services. Once again, everybody, we're giving these away later. I just, I literally just showed them. <laughs> so, once again, everybody, we're giving these away in a little bit. <laughs> Got a signed Vindicate Mark, and a uh, Legend give me, uh, Land Tax. Give me my boots. I'm going to change my shoes. Greg is going to change his shoes on stream. I need both shoes. I'll give you one. I'm actually going to, I'm going to do a little thing. All right. All right. I'm going to so, uh, go throw these shoes away. Do they, you have, they have holes in the bottom. So they're no good to me. So I want Noah Cohen to win. How um, do you feel about that? I played against him at the Star City. Yeah, I know. I, I have mixed feelings about Noah. Did you just throw shoes away? Yeah. They had holes in the bottom. Jeez. Junk, Twin, Affinity, Tron. Noah's yeah. a pretty pretty nice person overall. It was yeah. very satisfying beating him, though. That's also, he him to Turok me, and I put a Wiltleaf Legion to play, and... I think he might have pooped his pants. <laughs> See, Greg is such a better caster. Urburian, who are you saying is a better caster then? Better than whom? Yeah, yeah. Better than whom? I speak English. Fuck you, Greg. I wasn't even correcting your... <laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> I was uh, asking. I don't know. Uh, sweet, I love mud. <laughs> You've come to the right place. I talk about mud more than we really should. There should be a Legacy Pro Tour because that would be a lot of fun. It would be. Uh, they're never going to do it, though. Sadly, never going to happen. Ever. Uh, and if a chance, Wizard says they aren't going to do a Legacy Pro Tour, which is true. Uh, bu 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 bu. I want Steven Burrows, Ray Perez Jr., and Glacier to win the Pro Tour. Yep. Everybody loves Glacier. Why does everybody love Glacier? I would like, because Glacier's been around forever. He's Has really, he? he's a really nice, funny guy. He's hey, been, he's been playing you since know, like you know what, you know what, or you know what Glacier does not like though. What does he not like? Glacier, in fact, does not like this. <laughs> he, he, I mean, to be fair, it's his own damn fault. <laughs> All right, so Glacier, while we were at the SCG Open. Uh, Glacier introduced me to uh, being able to do the rap horn effect. A wonderful via app. app. A yeah, wonderful app. Via app. Um, and that's something that I've wanted to do for I can't even think how long that I have. I've like just fantasized of being able to make that noise on command yeah. always. And he introduced it to me. He empowered you. He he did empower me, and that in fact was his uh, was his downfall. Yep. Uh, he grew to hate it. He he grew to hate it because now I can just do it whenever I want. Isn't and it a lovely sound, everyone? My God, it's great. I, I woke up to it both days. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Uh, you probably did. no. You were up taking a shower before I woke up. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about that. I I did this lovely sound effect. 
And if you listen closely, you can, I know, that's me. And then you can hear somebody, I'm pretty sure it's either you or Zinni, talking about their match in the background. Ah, that was a fun trip. Fucking weather, though. That's all I gotta say. I'm sad that I had to leave. I don't know. I, I, I was playing well enough. I thought I could have just won out. I think your deck was actually well positioned on the yeah, second day. I thought I could have won out. I was feeling pretty good. If you had won um, out, you probably would have gotten top 32. Eh, probably top 16, right? No. no. Top 16 was like only the people at four losses with the very best breakers. To like yeah. 11 and 4 went down to like 26. Like it was okay. pretty far down. All right. So I would have top 32. Yeah. Which barely makes me breaking more than even having to spend an extra night there. Eh. I mean, it turned out to be pretty cheap for me and Kyle, actually. It was only like 36. You and Phil? No, it was me and Kyle Houtman. Oh, Houtman. Did yeah. Phil not stay with you? Phil went back with like Eric Rill, I think. Okay. I'm glad I dodged that Eric Rill matchup. Not gonna lie. Yeah, he probably would have beat you. Yeah, well, it was like it was like elves plus Vengevine, that Venge Cloud deck that he had going. Yeah, he had a deck tech that's up on Star City. If you guys are curious, he was playing Cloud of Fairies and Vengevine in the same deck. Also, Intuition. <laughs> he has a four of. So, Johnny's bringing up ever watch old Pro Tour videos? Yeah. Uh, totally. Where they're playing with duels without sleeves. It's because yeah. sleeves were not legal. For There's a while. like that Bob Maher match. Uh, he was playing like blue white control against like Necropotence. And they're shuffling like their tundras, <laughs> unsleeved tundras, you know. Yep. Um, and it looks like, oh, Greg, you didn't reset this. Um, yeah. Oh I my definitely god, did. you're I just was, a bad person. I was talking to the chat. Oh my goodness, chat, I love you, but you can't distract Greg. Who he's is got, this now? he's got like a one-track mind. So we have Kevin Kingsley on the right. Yep. The, uh, the Icarid himself. <laughs> the, yes. Do you want to go? Uh, do you want to go peer out really quick? Check who he's to playing. To see against? who's playing. Uh, sure. Who's playing who? Tony, you in round one? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, it's Kyle Hellman. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, gosh, shit, I don't remember what Kyle's on. It's something. Wanted to yell fuck you at Kyle, but other Kyle was sitting in the way, so I feel like <laughs> the message was gonna... Yeah. Get it intercepted. All right. All right. <laughs> round two, let's go ahead and... Well, actually, I'll get this reset. And then we'll start the timer. So I think Houtman is not on Sneak and Show. He's not. No. He switched to Blue White Red Delver, which he All told right. me he was going to do. Kyle Houtman on the left actually got 18th place at the uh, Star City Open this past weekend. He was the person stuck with me there as we played out the last few rounds. Sadly, we both got eliminated from top eight contention in the penultimate round, round 14. I believe he got knocked out by Maverick. You know what happens. Then I avenged his death by beating that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I was paired up, but he wasn't. He didn't have a shot at top eight. Greg's like, I got 12th place. I'm better than everybody. Well, That's what he's saying in his head. In life. <laughs> in life, he's just better. Just better. All right, so we got Dredge and uh, Mr. Kevin Kingsley. Just type it around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kingsley, right? Yeah. Bet you he dreams about Icarid. Does he? I would if I played Dredge that much. <laughs> He's played the deck That's for a enough. lot. Here, we'll bring up Icarid. He's one of the Icarid. best Dredge players I've ever faced. Yeah, no, he's very good. Icor, why? You got it, H. Oh, there's an H. All right. <laughs> Icker fucking, Wellspring. Fucking silent, silent letters, man. Icker Wellspring is spelled the same way. Is it really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should know this. Ah, I do love me some Icker Wellsprings. Yeah. <laughs> love me some Icker Wellspring. So what did Greg play at the Open? He was on Death and Taxes. Yeah. Two Mangaras, two Wiltleaf Liege, two Mirren Crusader. And I played against a lot of Lianas. <laughs> It worked How out. many Ilianas did you play against? Uh, three Liliana So, decks. Mike, you beat... Or, Greg, you beat Mike's buddy Who? Uh, playing Rug Delver Day 2. Oh, sure. Yeah. Fair enough. I played against Rug Delver uh, just once on Day 2. Chad, yeah, we had a super close match, actually. That was the one that I almost died in Sulfuric Vortex, and I had to Mangara it. Remember? Mm. It was that guy. No, I did not watch that match. I think it was Jan. 
Oh, it was Halvin who's watching it. Yeah, I had a super. That game was so close. Oh, I, I had I had, a, I had a really good match against a uh, Rugged Over player as well, um, who was on Hootie Mandrels. Yeah, and, it uh, wasn't that guy, but that guy did pretty well. He was, yeah. He, I mean, he's top eight did several I think times. He, I think he lost his last round and not make top sixteen. I think he yeah. not got knocked down to like top thirty two or something. It happens. He was sitting next to me for a couple rounds though. So I think what's the b- best black border. Counterspell? It's a question that's going on in chat right now. And then Hajbals, we're using a C920 right now. Uh, Eventually, we'll be moving to a DSLR, but for at the moment, this is what it's going to be. So Kyle just leading with a fetch and not doing anything? That's kind of interesting. He has a lightning bolt and a sword, I think. Yeah, Kyle... Or, no, just a bolt and a stone forge. Yeah, Kyle's going to... He needs a daze here. Yeah, he's going to daze it. The problem is now he can't play his turn to Stoneforge, unfortunately. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. So, like, there is definitely a cost to this. Because it is kind of time walking himself to do this. Which kind of makes me want to not daze, actually. But then you open up, you let Kevin, like, pitch his entire hand. Yeah. That's a, yeah. I, mean, I think that's. I, think I guess that's you fine. make him have another way of uh, discarding. Like, force him to, right? Yeah. Because if Kevin just kept this, like, speculatively off of being able to get there on... Just the Putrid on, Imp. Yeah, yeah. just Putrid Imp. Um, we'll bring that up. Uh, then it's not going to... Then, yeah, he could be very well, fine. This is Faithless Looting. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. That's a thing. He didn't force it. Uh, I feel like you force it, right? <clears throat> it's hard to know. I, I, I could be wrong. I could. I'm very open to being wrong as well. But I feel like that's something. I feel like that's something you do. I mean, because now he's got two he dredgers has, he in the has arch. Two dredgers, but he's got Golgari Grave Troll you and force, uh, you force the next big draw spell, like the, f- like because so he has like a careful study in his hand. Like it's one thing when it's a draw spell when there's no f- dredge to begin with. Sure. Um. It's really like the next one that's going to be really impactful. And Tainted Angel with random capitalizations. Thank you for following. <laughs> Wonder if... Yeah, I think Kyle's going for Batter Skull here. Stop chuckling at me. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm very, very sensitive right now. Yep. Oh, man. All right. Newbot's got 2,100 people watching. Uh, we're going to catch him. We've got 80... Uh, we got 89. We're going to catch him. We got it. Guys, everybody, let's get 2200. People get in that let's go, <laughs> go double double stream, go in that new mod chat and tell him tell Ooh. them that uh, draft is boring, no one cares and yeah. there's some sweet legacy over there's here. There's some sweet legacy going on. And two Golgari Grave Trolls hitting the yard. Yeah. Kevin's got some good shit going on. This is the one you counter. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay, good. He is going for it. Yeah. All right, so Kyle's going to fall to eight, 17, excuse me, off of the force. Yep. Um, that's fine. This Golgari Grave Trolls are still going to do some stuff. Does Kevin Now have... Kevin doesn't have a land, even. Sure. That was his last mana. Like, if he's slow dredging from here, it's going to be really slow. Kyle just passes. He's going to activate Stoneforge end of turn, it looks like. Yeah. All right, so we're going to see a Golgari Grave Trolls. He's going to dredge six. He's going to put six cards into his graveyard. There's a bridge, though. Do we have an Icarid in the yard yet? I don't see one. Notably, also, Kyle still has Days up. And oh. Kevin doesn't have mana, so any actual spells that Kevin casts can get countered here. Uh, Bisco M is apparently hosting us 12 viewers. Gee, I don't know. How, <laughs> how do you do that? Oh, that's awesome, yeah. How do you do that? People thank, can... Thank they, you, Greg. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, so... Now we're seeing a batter skull in play from Kyle, though. Uh, <laughs> my eyes will not stay open right now. That's, it's it's really bad. That sounds bad. Yeah. That sounds like a meadow hole condition. Uh, no, I think it's just from drinking for a while. Ah. Uh, that's That would be my medical diagnosis. I've never known drinking to cause sleepiness. Really? <laughs> I don't think you've been drinking long. No. So another dredge from Golgari Grave Troll, uh, the second one. So now he's left with Stinkblade Imp. He's got two bridges in the yard, which are good. Let's bring up uh, a bridge from below. He really needs uh, some Narc Amoebas. <laughs> he needs them like yesterday. 
Uh, I'm going to get to keep taking chunks out of Kevin's life total here. What happened? Another another five? Well, it's about to be. Also, Maybe. he has a bolt in his hand for whenever he gets Kevin low enough. Kevin dropping to ten here. You drop to ten. You do it yourself. All right. Now Kevin's going to get to do some stuff with his Icarid. Removing... Stinkweed is the best. All right. Oh, no. He removed Putrid. Oh, okay. Him. And he was dredging the stink. Ah, all right. All right, finally found this finds an arc amoeba. What are those blue cards right there? Uh, breakthroughs. They oh. are the modern masters. Or no, uh, the, not uh, conspiracy. Yeah, conspiracy. Conspiracy right. breakthroughs. Okay. I think Kevin got a lot of foils for his deck. We'll bring up. We'll bring up breakthrough. It's interesting how much modern masters and conspiracy made foiling out a dredge deck like very easy. Yes. <laughs> Uh, do you sacrifice Icarid after every upkeep? Uh, it's at the end step. Yep. Cook's got us. Cook knows things. Does. Uh, Legacy is... Okay, yep. Uh, I'm an old nerd. Legacy is a bunch of nerds. Play draft <laughs> like a champ. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Legacy is a bunch of old nerds is Obama. That I don't know. Sense. Don't understand. Greg is literally... Okay. <laughs> I, oh god, don't even respond. <laughs> uh, so here's just a bunch of tokens. Um, do we miss a? Do we miss a slacker? Twenty twelve. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, do we miss a an attack? Some stuff happened. What do we? What do we miss? Mm. What do we miss, Greg? <laughs> god damn it, Greg. I think we have missed. Uh, Kyle looking at Kevin because he doesn't really have a good attack at this point. Like, well, he's got five land, so swing with batter skull, return it, put it back into play. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's not bad. Doesn't have the cast it. He's still got a. He just gains a bunch of life. The problem is the more turns that pass, the worse this is getting. Yogi, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Yeah, no, I agree. Especially since there's three bridges in play now mm -hmm. and an active Icarid right. in the yard. Like, it gets rough. One thing Kyle can do is, even if his uh, gem token doesn't die, he can just bounce Batter Skull to his hand and put it back into play, which would uh, get all of the bridges out of oh, the graveyard. Oh, that's a really good... Yeah, no, that's actually a pretty solid play. Yeah. We'll see if he realizes he can do this. Because bridge does not state non-token creature on the... Removed from graveyard claws. Yeah, that's. This is like chump. Kyle gaining four life up to twenty five. And just fucking cash. vigilance, making our jobs hard. Yeah. So <laughs> Kyle doesn't have to do this yet. The batter skull play, but um, but he needs to do it before the end step. Right. So here's a dredge of another stinkweed up. Let's bring stinkweed up. We've been talking about it. But we have not brought it up. Stink weed? Him. Yeah. Greg knows all about that stink weed. Don't do. you, Greg? <laughs> I'm familiar. <laughs> gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those situations in Legacy where you really see people's familiarity Ooh. familiarity with their deck show through. Ooh, so okay, so Kyle Kyle missed this. Yeah. So Kevin's well. I mean, either no matter. I guess no matter what, the uh, flashing back the like, ball therapy is going to give him the turn. Right, which is really why Kyle should have done this on his own turn. So Kyle targeting him, or excuse me, Kevin targeting himself, um, naming Golgari Grave Troll, putting all three Golgari Grave Trolls in the yard, mm -hmm. um, which is great. I mean, like now Kevin's got Kevin's got gas for the next few turns. Yep. Oh, and Ke and, and Kyle misses it. Yeah, I, I, I would bet that he just didn't realize he could do this. Yeah, no, but that's that's very fair to be. You gotta you gotta be willing to you gotta look at that shit though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a kind of like a man, blah blah. Yeah. You know? I realize this. Yeah, I have an advantage here because I've been playing Stoneforge Mystic basically exclusively for like <laughs> I don't know hundreds of matches. <laughs> so. Uh, people do not like the fact that Kevin does not have foil, uh, 
tokens. And, uh, Do those exist? Foil zombie tokens? No. But I really like the uh, Innistrad zombie token art. The one with I the, the blue yeah. on it. Yeah. That's probably my favorite zombie. Uh, people also don't like the new SCG format, apparently. Um, Put it out there. I heard a lot of people criticizing it when we were in Indy, including some of the high level players, but even the lower level players as well. I think most people are pretty unhappy with basically everything about it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it just kind of sucks because it takes a lot more, like, it just takes a lot of the emphasis off of things. Right. At the same time, as Cook points out, from a, like, from actually judging and everything, it's going to be a lot better for them. Um, I'm sure, like, logistically, it's it's a far better situation to be in. It seems like it could be. An issue uh, we seem to run into is, like, people would make day two at six and three. And you feel like, oh, you know, it's the main event with, like, most, like, all, like, the big chunk of the money on the weekend and, like, all the glory and the focus. And if you're 6-3 and three overnight, though, like, that's not a really good spot to be because, like, you have to 6-0 to make the top eight. Yeah. No, I mean, I ran into that. I really wanted to play. It, I mean, granted, the Storm played a part in this weekend, but I also really, really wanted to play Modern because I felt more confident in my Modern right. deck than I did my Legacy deck, and I was 6-3 and three going into Day 2. Yeah, it's like, like the number of players that the tournament was, though, like, that should have been a 10-round tournament, not a 15-round tournament. Yeah. They could do that in one day and have a, another big tournament on Day 2 like they used to. And yeah. I think people kind of miss that. So I believe Kevin's actually at 29 here. Or excuse me, uh, Kyle's at 29. Um, Kevin, though, has a gigantic Golgari Grave Troll. Yeah. That's going to be able to regenerate a million times. Let's this uh, this seems like... This doesn't seem like the kind of board state that Jeskai Delver can come back from, frankly. All right. At least in-game. Now, what, what am I doing for Golgari wrong? G-O-L... G yeah, that's what I thought. G-O-L. G-A-R-I. Damn it! There's another G. Golgari. Ah, I don't... I don't read, Craig. Golari. Golari. <laughs> Golari. Uh, I have a custom zombie... Foil zombie tokens that somebody made them. It's coming cool. from Grey Sickle. And then, what's upon Forever Kingdom? How you doing? If anyone wants to send Kevin, like, 20 of them... Then he'll probably have enough. <laughs> yeah, this For is... any situation that might arise. It's 20 zombies. I'm not entirely sure what life totals are here. Because you haven't been paying attention. Kevin is and waiting... I'm, and I'm drunk. Yeah. Kevin is simply waiting until he can alpha strike in one turn and kill Kyle for sure. Oh, okay, so... And Kyle can't swing with his Delver because there's two... Uh, Narcamoebas. Two Narcamoebas out. Yep. <laughs> but, I mean, and Kevin can just block with one Narcamoeba, get three three tokens still? Yep, and this not is have the problem to with not uh, yeah. doing the Stoneforge trick. Yeah. Especially when you have five mana. Yeah. Like, it just you makes just it, it awkward. Turn, yeah. You really are scared to uh, Oh, Kevin's at seven. He got bolted. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Blame, uh, blame Greg. Yep. I'm, uh, I'm above reproach. I agree. Uh, <laughs> Greg, Greg apparently agrees. So, uh, yeah, no, I think Kevin's got this as well. Yep. Like. Razor Verge asked in the chat what the giveaways are. Ooh, giveaways. Signed a signed Vindicate, and then a, uh, how, how do we... Slightly altered, uh, slightly altered Legends land tax. Two of the edges are colored with a marker. Yeah, they got some sharp. It's not very noticeable, and it's it, it is not noticeable in a sleeve. No, yeah, if you put this in a sleeve, nobody's gonna notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a sleeve, nobody's gonna notice. And it's still a Legends land tax in pretty good condition. Yeah, yeah. The back, the back's got a little bit of marks on it. That's just... But, I mean, that's just normal. That's, that's regular just, love. Yeah. That's just... That's like, hey, this was played at some point. Yeah. This was put to good use. Yeah. This was maybe played in a pro tour without sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> you just double sleeve that bad boy at some point and you're fine. So, Kevin is... He really is just slowly getting a lot of... Yep. Uh, I think Kyle conceded. <laughs> I think that's what that was. 
I don't uh, think Kevin would concede there. I don't see why he would. All right, I'll go double check. I'm gonna reset the live totals. That looked like a concession for time's sake, frankly. Like Delver's matchup typically will get better post board against Dredge. I am going to fiddle with the overlay. Give us ask again in a moment whether or not you're allowed to win raffles again, because Mark's the rule maker and I am his servant. Um, giving the first game to Kevin, because that's what that looked like to me. I'm open to being wrong about that. Yast B says that uh, the wow. only thing he or she double sleeves is their cube. What? Uh, Kevin conceded. Because, Kevin conceded. Well, true name came down, and he was going to be able to equip Batter Skull too. Oh, uh, sorry, everyone. Kevin was at seven. I was wrong. So we actually did have the light totals correct. Interesting. I guess uh, this true name is quite good against Dredge. <laughs> Can't do a whole lot about it. Still was missing the sweet Oop. batter skull play. Yeah. Greg, I want more pizza. Well, You're making my life hard. Sorry. <sighs> <laughs> nah, he's making my life hard. Yep. Wink. I, I had no, no part of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only thing I double sleeve my cube. True name, batter would have won him next turn. Correct, Joshua E. Boy. Uh, Thanks, Chad, I'm done. Seven. What does he win, Bob? Uh, it's like a larger perfect fit. I am so... My eyes just want to close right now. That's not good. I'm gonna go... I'll be back. I'm gonna go buy an energy drink. Okay. I would love some cocaine. Do you happen to have some, Jay? <laughs> That's just a euphemism, everyone, in the chat. <laughs> oh, the coffee, no, yeah. it's... The coffee, no, it's... 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 Jameson, <laughs> stop pouring white powder on our desk. <laughs> this is for my homies. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Woo. Coffee mate. Some uh, great coffee mate. And I just handed Greg $110. I am. Can we make this seem any sketchier? I am not going to sleep till next month. Till <laughs> so next uh, Thursday. No. For cocaine? What the hell are you guys doing that you're not sleeping until next Thursday? Lots of cocaine. I, I mean, if like continuous, but Greg just, uh, like in this hypothetical situation, did one bump, and now he's saying he's not sleeping until next Thursday. I love how most of it landed on the box. Yeah, uh, we got a little bit. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Done. Gone. Done. Was this box done? Yeah, uh, I believe so. Are you guys from Tennessee? No, I am from North Carolina, though. Uh, Greg is from... Uh, from Brooklyn. He's broke. Forget about it. Yep. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> That's, That's my best that. Brooklyn That's accent. Brooklyn. That's what I always say. <laughs> I think I busted my eardrum doing cocaine snorts because yep. the hearing is weird in this ear. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> is from Tennessee. Good to know. Kyle Norman on uh, stream sometimes is from Tennessee as well. He is from Tennessee uh, all the time. We are streaming from Chicago, though. <laughs> Correct. Uh, neither one of us are from Chicago. So if I win the raffle, I want that signed Vindicate. It's the last multicolored card I need for the cube. And if it's already signed, it saves me from having to do it. S to B, you're more than welcome to answer. Can't promise shit, though. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, is Gibbous allowed to win? Uh, did, did he ask? Yeah. Did they ask, excuse me? Gibbous asked, yes. Uh, <laughs> all right, fuck it. Gibbous. Uh, did they already win once? Gibbous has won once. Gibbous yeah. is also always in the chat. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it to Gibbous. Technically, they've won twice, but really? I shot him down <laughs> one of the times. <laughs> Uh, so lucky. Andrew tried to give a t-shirt to Gibbison, but I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> And then Gibbison stepped up and was like, nah, I can't take it. I was like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. So, Thanks representing for... Chattanooga, I like to tube the hooch. I don't know what The Chattahoochee means. River? You tube it. You take a tube, get in the Chattahoochee River, and you go down it. You go, yeah. whoop, 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 and you drink a beer in a tube, and it's fun. Just one beer? Eight beers. You have a cooler <laughs> floating next to you. It's great. That sounds good. It's great. 
Marianne has told me about that. Uh, could you, could you, you back me up? Uh, Lance, you're going to enter 96? Yes, you can enter the, val val or the uh, raffle. All, All of you, you will be allowed to enter Everybody's the allowed to enter the raffle. The only requirement we have for you to actually win is that you have to be followed. And speaking of which, Cloud... There's some I mean, lead. You have Thank to be you for following. following. You have to be following. Now. Yeah, you have to be following. Now you have to be followed. <laughs> that means that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to follow you. Yes, yeah. that is what we're saying. All right, you, you have, have to have go. followers. I'm gonna you go get an energy drink. You go follow this shit. All right. Jeez, you follow this. I am gonna get stuff. followed by this match. Oh my god, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, rub my bum on you. Love you too, Mark. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're into game two. One thing with Dredge is that sideboarding is always kind of a guessing game. Both, like, the hate that Kyle might have to bring in, and also anticipating, like, the counter hate out of Kevin. So, we will see what they can bring to the table. It looks like I see a Sword of Feast and Famine in Kyle's hand, which seems okay in this matchup. I guess just equipment is very good here. Uh, turn two. See a dredge of a stinkweed imp. Some notable hits there include a faithless looting and an Icarid. No narcomy, but yet. Also a grave troll put into the graveyard, but um, not the most explosive two turns for Kevin. He does have a careful study in hand, though, so that might lead to something. Turn two for Kyle, he is going to crack a fetch, drop to 19. See what Kyle casts here. Might have a stone forge, might have a meddling mage. No, rest in peace, I <laughs> think that card's good against Dredge. See if Kevin has the nature's claim, uh, and he does. He has the nature's claim ready in hand, so he can float a green mana here. Let the rest in peace resolve, which is going to be detrimental for Kevin, but... Did I just hear a rest in peace resolve? It's going to, but he's going to have a green mana to cast nature's claim. This could get dazed, though. I'm pretty sure yep, I Yep, it's getting it. dazed. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. All right, so that seems pretty good. Kevin is not gonna win this, right? Um, well, he needs another nature's claim. Jesus, you bearded wonder, how are you doing? Even Joe, thank you for following. <laughs> I'm glad you're over here from my brother's stream. Waves on Mars, thank you for following as well. Thanks, everyone. Evening, Joe. Evening. Watch as my brother. Evening. Yep. So, uh, gemstone cavern, or excuse me, gemstone mine. Getting sacrificed. Sacked for this uh, careful I, study. I think I agree with letting it die to cast the careful study because, like, he's gonna need another land at some point anyway. Like, you can't just wait around. I don't think to just like naturally draw into another nature's claim. It seems like it's probably gonna be a pipe dream. I'm just gonna be too slow in general. Yeah, evening Joe. We'll tell you, and by we'll tell you, I mean we'll kind of we'll name cards. And hope you know. But blue, 1942, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. What? Thank you for... And by 1442, I mean 1942. Same difference. 1492. No, it's alright. Shush. <laughs> it rhymes. Oh, wait, now we have a meddling mage out. I don't know what he's going to name it. Uh, uh, lion's eye? Oh, he's writing it down. Uh... I can go check. Oh, Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Dude. Decay is what he's naming. Why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's a little far off, right? Uh, Kevin's got no lands in hand. Uh, I, would, I would name Nature's Claim if that was the direction yeah. I was taking. Yeah, I would probably name Nature's Claim. I mean, Kevin just drew a... Uh, he needs land. Uh, Ancient Grudge. Sure. Not gonna happen. Not much gonna happen there. Nope. We're gonna see a swing in for two damage from that yep. uh, uh, Metal Image. We'll go ahead and bring Metal Image up Kyle because in a why pretty, not? Pretty commanding position here. It's a mage that in fact likes to metal. That's the bad art. Oh my god, you got everybody. There. Happy? Thank you. I actually like the shards art, so Ugh. fuck you guys. Ugh. 
Bam. You are psychotic. Reborn. That's awful. This is all right. This is just like this is a man that it's has awesome. like no. This is a man that has like a wax face. He is a that blue is going hand from, and a white hand. No, that is from like hey. I'm going to murder you in an alley. I have a wax face mask, all right? Yeah, I great. work in a wax museum. Come be part of my collection. That is what that guy says. This is like, hey, I'm a volvacious babe. Wah, wah, woo, wah, woo, wah, wah. Look at my power. Aren't you scared? In fact, I am, miss. I'm Thank not. you for saying this. I'm not scared at all. Uh, Kevin is actually at 17 off of three fetches because Greg's not putting any of this out there. Right. God, Greg, you're just... Uh, God, what am I doing? Uh, you're just bad at this. So bad. Where's the Delver? Uh, and I imagine we're going to see an equip. This is... This seems good. Uh, Overall, uh, this seems uh, good. Wait, 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 wait. What's, oh, no, this is what he's discarding. Discard, yeah. Okay, so he's going to take... Uh, it does not matter. Uh, he's going to go to 14. This is a pretty quick clock. Yeah, and he's discarding and getting to play multiple things per turn. Ugh, <laughs> this is bad. Yep. This is bad. Uh, let's see what's going on in chat. Uh, 1942 and his Yeah, whatever. Same thing. It's fine. You guys know what I meant. Yep. Uh, three of the people who dredged 20 but never played the mirror. Sure. Ruined Japan's day off the coast of Midway. Anonymous Ham. Oh, boy. Anonymous Ham. Thank you for following. I was trolling my brother's chat earlier and saying a bunch of things about ham sandwiches. I feel like this is probably <laughs> something in reference to that. Probably. Uh, well, the mage, I ran Ink Moth. Ooh. I love invitational cards. Uh, she's the only one I consider main deck. Va va voom va voom. Uh, at hatchback, to the, how did you turn it out of it? Uh, bring out the sword to keep the judge player's hand small. Sure. Yeah, that seems bad. Does um, their hand size really matter? Yeah. Well, it's no, really because just, just because you threat. get to discard. Well, yeah, but they get to discard. Sure. Just, so, and if he oh, doesn't yeah. have rest in peace, that could end very badly. Yeah, we'll yeah, bring yeah. you back to the booth. You go find us another match this time. I did it last time. Right. God damn it, Greg. Be yeah. useful. Everybody yell at Greg while he's leaving away. What's up? Uh, Bakula art is love. Bakula art is life. Ah, it's not better. No, it's like wax man mask. It's not good. Um... <laughs> I sometimes main deck the Flamekin, depending if I know the meta or not. Gray CL, that's, uh, that's some deep shit. That's some de and then the Hatchback Honda, I actually really like it versus Combo, since Combo is rough on Charlos. That's fair. Uh, now there's, that's just inbred uh, dredge talk. I, I don't know enough about dredge to actually commentate on that. I apologize, everybody. Uh, I don't know. I'm yeah. Any storm? No storm tonight. We've got uh, we we have an ascendancy. We have dredge. We have elves. We have Jeskai Stoneblade, Esper Stoneblade, um, uh, Charlotte's Delver, Bug or Charlotte's Charlotte's Bug, Bug Delver, uh, Deathless Bug, aka Bug Delver without Deathrite Shaman. Uh, we have a mono blue deck. Um. Yeah, no painter tonight. No, uh, Bob is on... Bob, who is our normal painter, he is on Esper Stoneblade, I believe. Um, yeah. So, that's... Yeah, that, that happens. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, so, Commander... Um, Chuck, who if you guys if you guys have interest in seeing Jeskai Ascendancy, we can definitely get him on there. Um, Chuck's been doing good things. He's been using the new guy. Um, I can't remember what the hell his name is. Uh, let's see if I can bring it up. Draw two. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that brings it up. Uh, that is not the name that I want. I uh, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, all right. Draw two. And, alright, so we'll take that out. We'll take that out. And card type. It's a creature. We're going to find this for you guys. We're going to find this. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm searching. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. There we go. Humble Deflector. Boom. Got it. Got it. Don't even worry about it. Uh, so, no, mono blue. It's not a mono blue solidarity deck. It's, um... It's kind of like if you took Blue Moon... And smashed it together with uh, 
Omnitel. Everybody's in the middle of games? Did you ask anybody if they would be willing to move over when they're done? God damn it, Greg! What do I pay you for? It's a hint, I don't actually pay Greg anything. But! He still does this, because he's a good guy. Uh, anyway, so I guess I'll go ahead and rep the giveaways. So yeah, humble effector, humble uh, defector in, uh, yeah, in Descendancy is what he's using. Um, and then he's using uh, Homeward Path to bring it back. So it's, um, it's pretty good stuff. And you can kind of do things in response to the triggers. So that way you draw a whole bunch of cards, at least from my understanding. Um, and uh, you can only give it to them once. And they can't really do anything because then you can just Homeward Path it back to you. Uh, so put the Mono Blue deck on. Uh, we can, I can try that. If it won, I definitely will. Uh, but, here's, uh, one of the giveaways. Mmm. Signed, uh, Vindicate. Look at that. Ah. Ah. Here's the other giveaway. A, uh, Legends Land Tax. It's pretty nice. It's pretty pretty. You know you want it. And Gibson, yeah, you know. Greg had one job. Not doing it right. Not doing it right. But both of these will be giving away a little. Well, yeah. Me. Giving both of these away a little later. So that'll be fun. That will certainly be fun. Uh, I don't know. Can I. How do you sign up for this? You just have to follow the stream, baby. You follow the stream, Apparipara. And then, uh, and then you type, uh, exclamation mark raffle when we do it. It'll be good. Uh, you guys froze on me. Gibson, you froze on me, all right? You froze on me. Very upset about it, all right? Where were you when I needed you and I depended on you? You, you froze. You froze. Put out some feelers. You put out some feelers? Yeah. I'm going to try to drink an energy drink and a beer at the same time. I don't know how well it's going to happen. Like, literally at the same time, or like, all no, no, don't do that. Oh, God. And Mark's Mission accomplished. Explodes. Mission accomplished. Poured a little on my bottoms. It'll be good. All right. Well, Tony and uh, Pino were locked in battle in game two, so I told them if they go to game three, they should move over. Ooh. We'll see if that comes to fruition or not. Put that thing in a sleeve. Yeah. I don't put this thing in a sleeve, all right? You don't put baby in a corner. No, it'll be asleep. It'll be in the sleeve by the time it's sh shipped to you. Yeah. I can only, I can only get it when it's actually whatever's given to me. Yeah. Yeah. For now, though, it's gonna be. <coughs> Where's my backpack? Pod, Here, I'll, put it, I'll put it in a sleeve. Pawed by Mark Sticky Coke cans. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sticky Coke cans. Uh, Opera, thank you for following. Uh, and then let's see, what kind of. Kind of want the land tax. Everybody wants the land tax. Who are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, Joshy boy, who is it signed by? The well, artist. It's, no, 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 no. Signed no. by Greg and I. <laughs> signed by. No, it's actually signed by the artist. I, <laughs> should we sign it too? Just uh, for just for like a little bit of like a. Mwah, there you go. Whoever wins the raffle, if they want us to sign it, we <laughs> could do that. If they want us to draw like dicks on it, we could also do that. Ooh, I will. I will two hundred percent draw two hundred percent more dick. Let's look at the um, art of Vindicate and see if we can come up some with some some fun ideas for. Oh, there's could so many anything. penis ideas that could happen there. We could have the uh, the spaceships shooting the big monster with a penis. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a, that's an obvious one. Yeah, that is that's probably the obvious most obvious one. one. Um. If anyone else has any ideas about how to alter this, by keep in mind that neither Mark nor I are artists, so it's not going to be like <laughs> it's not going to be like Klug or any of the sweet art. <laughs> on eBay, alters. there's a on eBay there's a mana crypt for a hundred dollars because it has dicks drawn on it. Perfect. Would still buy. Probably. Would still buy. If All right. Cheap See, look. Crypt. Now it's in a sleeve. Done. Oh. As, I just, As Mark throws it on the table. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Yeah. Uh, it'll be good. If I win, I will allow Mark to draw dicks on it. Yep. As long as I sign it off. So Greg, I'm sorry, you don't get part of this. This is That's this fine. is this is a strict Mark dick I'll drawing. I'll watch. I'll watch. <laughs> Greg Greg does like to watch. He likes to stand in a corner, sure. just kind of breathe heavy, <laughs> and just watch. It's fun. Cook the fourth returned. 
Uh, Cook, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, there's a RAR. RAR. Uh, RK Post is only allowed to draw dicks on cards. Oh, that's because RK Post just likes to do that. Yep. Uh, hey, Cook. Okay. Welcome. Put like. Yeah, I don't know. It makes me happy. Sand in the sleeve. Mark Ben's card on table. It is sandpaper sleeves. Mark likes watching dicks. Confirm. Oh, yes! Who doesn't like watching dicks? Where did you get the sandpaper sleeves from? I made them. Oh. I use uh, 50 grit. Okay. And, uh... You get so nice and see-through. It's a very fine... Yeah, it's a very fine... It's glass. Very, very it's, fine. I mean, it's glass. That's what I use. I see. It's a very high-quality glass that I ground up. Yep. And then... It's glass paper. And then put on tape. Yep. Sand glass. Yep. It's good. I like it. It's I mean, very nice. Sand gla glass is sand. Yep. Yeah. All right. Anyway, you guys are really laggy for me. Greg, are you laggy? I think that's just my face. Yeah, that is that is Greg's face. It's confirmed. Not, it's not the um, stream. Any reanimator today? Unfortunately, I don't think there's any reanimator. I didn't see right? any. I no? did not see any. I All saw right. a lot of blue eye red cards in general. <laughs> I love the energy drink, uh, the beer energy drink combo. When you see this, their commentator drink water. What? Oh, uh, you're drinking water yeah, while I'm drinking energy drink. That's actually uh, pure vodka. So. Yeah, Greg. Why are you uh, Why are you just drinking water? Why are you doing the energy <clears throat> beer drink combo? I don't know. Oh, probably because I have to uh, get up early in the morning and watch the Pro Tour. <laughs> I, in fact, I said it in D.C. Yeah, it starts at 8 a.m. Does it really? They're an hour ahead of us and it starts oh, at 9 a.m. So there. I thought it started at 10 our time. No? Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. Uh, I'm working from home tomorrow and I'm going to get to watch it all. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, apparently somebody's getting circumcised and that's how you become Just Guy. I mean, it makes okay. sense when you say it like that. And you look at how they look. <laughs> That's racist, Greg. I don't, I don't know support. That. I don't support that. Uh, all right, guys. What do we? Get, what else do we need to talk about, Greg? What? Uh, what should I be looking to spec on from the Pro Tour? I need Ooh. some. I need some. It's modern, correct? Yeah. Modern Pro Tour. I need to see if anyone has the the inside scoop on what's going to do well. Like, should gonna, I be getting Noble throw, Hierarch? I'm, I'm gonna throw do I, this. I'm do gonna I need Noble Hierarchs to I mean, play modern? Uh, I think Noble Hierarchs not bad, but I'm gonna throw this out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit more action for Vengevine. Okay. Or uh, Lotless Troll. Maybe together. Ninety percent sure they're <laughs> together. Uh, that'd be cool. I wouldn't like. I'm just saying. That'd be fun. Wouldn't be. Uh, so. What's Humble Defector used in? Chuck is using it in Jeskai Ascendancy. Ascendancy. Yeah. I'm actually going to go check to see if he won again. Sure. Because if he did, I'm going to put him on. Because yeah. I think it'll be good. Something you can do is, um, you know, you... Stack the triggers. You activate him in response. You play a... Obviously, this is with Jeskai Ascendancy in play. You uh, play a spell in response, untap the Humble Defector. A card that could be really good with him is even something like Gutshot. Because, you know, it triggers him one more time, and it's going to kill the defector before you can give it to your opponent. And also, free spells are just really, really good in Jeskai Ascendancy decks in general. Um, I think the card's pretty sweet in that deck. The problem with it in Legacy is, like, it is susceptible to spot removal, obviously, and it turns on some cards that might otherwise be dead in your opponent's deck. Um... It is cool, though. It's very cool, and if you draw four cards with an Ascendancy in play, I and mean, you could probably fully go off through your deck, I would imagine. Um, and also, I mean, it's just cool, right? <laughs> the card is so, like, innocuous and seems so bad, but in those very specific situations, it seems like it would be really sweet. Um, it also seems like the kind of card where, like, just pairing it with, like, Sacrifice Atlas, it's not good enough. Like, playing a 2-1 for 2 that might be able to be sweet with, like, alongside another card just to get a draw 2 doesn't seem like, an, an, like enough payoff for the effort that's going into it. Um, but if you're drawing 8 off of one card... Just incidentally, from playing other cards in your deck, you would play anyway. Like, 
that seems like it has potential. And I know Chuck, I think he, Chuck is 2-0, so, but I think he just lost round three, so I, I th believe he's 2-1 and one now. We could see if we can get him on camera. It is unfortunate that wa watching Jess Guys in the seed decks go off is definitely somewhat um, monotonous and taxing on the eyes, despite, like, it's definitely fun for the pilot because you get to do so many things, but for either your opponent or people watching, it can be, you know, somewhat eggs-esque, <laughs> if, uh, if you're familiar with that old modern deck, which they banned into next week. Some, uh, so I guess really <laughs> zapping calls me out. Yeah, it is pretty boring to watch. I think it is less boring to watch than lands. I personally find that deck pretty unbearable to watch just because of the amount of turns it can often take to do anything to really like progress its game, I suppose. Like, lands can take many, many turns to really make the board change much at all. Which, I guess the similar critique could be actually made of the deck that I play, which is Death and Taxes, because it can be very slow, and it's also playing like a Richard and Port type game, so maybe I'm really not right to critique it, but I just find lands pretty boring. I do like playing against it, though, because I think it's satisfying to beat. <sighs> Johnny Turbo wants Ley Lines versus Mana List Dredge. Let's just have the least amount of magic possible. That's really what we're looking for here. Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting comment by uh, Mgrin in the comments saying, I'm surprised by how many fair decks Chicago has. My local store is just all combo and a guy on miracles. That is definitely what... Uh, what our local meta has evolved into. There was a point a few weeks ago during the end of Blue Red Delver's reign that locally things did, did get relatively combo heavy with a bunch of reanimator and omniscience decks, but this in the post ban world has reverted back and our meta game for a very long time was very, very fair. And yeah. It looks like it was. it's getting that way again. Yeah. Um, so, Jeskai Ascendancy, uh, one and one now. Okay. Um, so we can still put that on. I'm perfectly okay putting that on. Playing Humble Defector, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. Um, how to Mangara in Death and Taxes? It was great. Like, yeah? I never had a problem with drawing both. Um, if I did, you know, I would blow something up. And then play the next one. <laughs> All right, so it's I mean, really good. Do we want to put? Do we want to put? Uh, how is how is Doomsday doing? Are two you one on one? Two up, one one. Oh, okay, boom. one on one. All right, so do? Doomsday is one on one. Uh, we have Jeskai Ascendancy right. one on one. Uh, the mono the mono blue oh, da uh, Delver well, we blue moon esque deck uh, is in game three. They. They lost their first round, so if you guys do want to see that, we can put that on. Yeah. Um, but uh, let us know what you guys are leaning towards, and we'll put it on. Or if you guys want to see the like the what decks are doing the best tonight, we can definitely put that on as well. Um, Humble Defector would be cool to see, but it might be better to show the people who are two zero. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have we have one for Doomsday. Doomsday is also fun to watch. One for Doomsday. So far, that's the only actual vote. So, uh, mono blue, yes, no matter. Okay, all right. So now we're, we're fifty. Mono blue, what? We're fairies? fifty. Uh, he's got some fairies in it. He's got some Delver. It's kind of like blue moon esque. Like, is he playing? Oh, he's because he's playing uh, back to basics. Yeah. Sure. Um, is he playing wasteland? And then we have. Oh, we've got we got a chunk of doomsday. We've got two two O's. It's like mono blue. It's like blue moon, basically, kind of. Sure. Mono Blue to just got show two o. What's Mono Blue's record? Mono Blue might be. They oh, lost the first round. They lost the first round. They're in game three right now. Oh, uh, like, yeah, because he was playing against Kyle, who lost yeah. round one to Elves. Yeah. We also have an Elves player who's. Uh, a lot of people are saying two o. I think two o is barely beating <laughs> Dredge. Do you want me to go or... see who's two o? What decks they're playing? I could. 
Yeah, if you want, if you want to see, you make the call out while we're out there. If there's an interesting matchup that is, right. at, that is the winning, put that on. Yeah. If there's not, put look at on. Chuck or Doomsday, one of the one of the two, because we're we're definitely seeing some people saying that they want to see Humble Defector. No, not if they're playing against each other. That'd be miserable. Ugh. All right. Okay. All right. So everybody that's uh, anybody that's in chat that has actually won something from us um, here recently, I'm gonna do my best to get everything at least packaged up tomorrow. It'll probably ship out on Monday, which means you guys will probably have it uh, Friday, um, this next Friday at the very latest. A lot of times stuff ships pretty fast. It's like two days most of the time, so that'll be good. Um, actually, you know what? I don't know. Well, so it'll it'll be good. It'll be good. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna check something really quick. Team player. Uh, and uh, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh no! God. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, don't you don't you do that to me? Hmm. All right, guys. Uh, you know while we're waiting, uh, while we are waiting, while we are waiting. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah, raffle's open. Go get the raffle. Opened. It's opened. Guys, raffle's open. We're gonna give away the, uh, this is gonna be the land tax. <laughs> Giving away the land tax. Everybody. Uh, oh wow. Come on, guys. <laughs> right there, you know, there's no votes. It's raffle. Raffle. I'm gonna enter the own raffle. There we go. Come on, guys. There we go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Of course, like, <laughs> it's just like, it's like, troll comment, troll comment, troll comment, raffle. And then it hits. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. Alright, so we're going to keep this going. Uh, Johnny Turbo, Anarchy. I'm not entering. I already have a land tax for my cube. Well, Hybulas, you're a kind person. You know what's going on. Did you get there? No. No? All right. I think the bathroom is open. That is your consolation prize. I'm going to sing a little doodle doo doodle doo, -doo, -doo, -doo. Raffle's going to close at that point. And by doodle doo doodle doo, -doo I'm going to look to see how many viewers we got right now. While I'm singing, uh... Hit a bit of bumpers! I really like playing Hootie Mandrews! All right. Raffle's over, guys. I'm going to count down 10 in chat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Raffle's over. Let's do this really quick. Let's go here. Uh, draw. Nubisapa poopapa. You win. You win. All right. You win a land tax. Alright, so please send me your name and zip and address. Thank you. Exclamation mark. We'll throw a smiley face in there. Because we can. Beautiful. So, newbie sop. I, I hope that's like an Usopp reference and they'll make right. me a little happy. I got a match. What we got going on? I get. Ned on Boat Delver playing against Greg Pino on Junk Maverick. I gave away the land tax while you were gone because right. I was like, you know what? Kill some time. Greg doesn't need to be part of this. I agree. <laughs> little does he know, I entered the raffle when I was out there. No, I didn't. I didn't see Chris Catcher show up. And newbie sop one. I freaking love my Twitch name, and I was so happy that, that Curse Catcher was taken. available. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure. It's just uh, a sweet name. <laughs> it is. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. The other two O match, the one I. Snubbed. I thought you were taking this. I I heard you say I'm gonna mess around with this. Oh, uh, that was after another game. Oh my god. 
The uh, the other 2-0 match was Elves versus Blue White Red Delver, and we had both se seen both those decks already. So I figured I would put new new blood on. No, that's I think very fair. Um, so here we have uh, Gregory Pino. Yep. Junk Maverick. Yep. He just beat uh, Tony on Shardless Bug, I believe. All right. And then you said Ned, right? Yep. So you got Mr. Ned uh, Caddy Yip. Uh, is it like that? Yeah. It's capital Y, though. Cool. Right? Or no? I'm not positive. No, never I mind. I got Kai, the hyphen. Kai Duh, I thought. I could be wrong. Kai? Uh, <laughs> God damn it. I forget his last name. If anyone knows Ned's last name, please. No, tell I think us. you're right. I think it's kind of yep. Yep, that's right. Is it? That's okay. right. Yeah, and he is on Bug Delver. All right, and both these players are two and zero, oh, right? Yep. I believe this matchup should favor Pino pretty significantly, but I mean, we'll see. There are perks to being a blue deck, and one of them is consistency. You don't, you don't need. You, what, I don't understand what consistency is. Yeah, you play I, mud. You I wouldn't. play, I play colorless cards because they're better. Yep. And I play only white cards because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, you play some colorless cards. I can get behind you. I play. You a forget good that of you forget that cards. my first deck was in fact death and taxes. Yeah, and you abandoned it. Yeah, because I said fuck asshole. that shit. You could, you did not stay true to Thalia. I'm pretty sure I sold half the cards to you. Didn't uh, I sell the ports I... to you? No. No? Who did I sell the ports to? I don't know. It was, might have been Jason. I got my ports from past times. <laughs> oh. They were very very beat. <laughs> uh, so we'll put we'll put uh, we'll put. Delver they said they were here. also uh, medium play, and one of them was signed. <laughs> just didn't tell me. Just mailed me a signed <laughs> card. <laughs> Medium, medium play. Why don't you just it's go... actually damaged, you know, but whatever. <laughs> Why don't you go pick it up? If it's past times. Uh, cause because Greg doesn't drive. He's got a paper license. It's pretty great. I have great. a bicycle. <laughs> it was winter. Oh, my God. All right. Jesus' video is lagging. Uh, we haven't dropped any frames, guys. And we told you that's just our faces. That's Greg's face. My face. That's Greg's face, yeah. I came out of a horror movie. If I win the next one and I live in Chicago, I could just come pick it up. Yes, you could. Uh, if I win a, both of the raffles in one night, do I get both? No. What's Pino on? Maverick. Vote Doomsday. Unfortunately, we already got the match. Yep. Uh, awesome, awesome. This is just I'm reading this in chat. Right. Um, Ned G -G -G Sizzle is apparently his last name. Um, we have a turn one Green Sun Zenith for Dryad Arbor out of Pino. That is a Savannah, I believe, in play. Yes. And Full this is a out. Wasteland going after Savannah. Uh, how do you like it going after Savannah versus the Dryad Arbor? Oh, he's trying to cut him off of a color, but it's... That's risky, well, first off, right? Well, it does seem like it succeeded. It does look like it cut him off of weight, at least for the time being. Sure, but it's not really, I guess, slowing him down? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's trying to avoid fast threats. Sure. Let, but, like, a lot of his deck is white. Yeah. Obviously, Pino just drew a fetch, which is pretty great. Ned might have a stifle. Nope. Nope. Ned's just going to play land, pass back. Uh, and no response to that fetch by Pino. Looks like another Savannah coming into play here. Um, I think he has Days and Force in hand, so... What's your bet on decks that will be best at the Pro Tour, Greg? I really want to see a sweet Got Gorio's Vengeance deck. Also, why are they asking you? I don't. My I was, opinions. I was bring up modern. My we opinions are very valid. Yeah. All right. It's hard to say. I hope there's some sweet, unexpected stuff because it seems like the. You know, what everyone's going to be gunning for and probably playing themselves is, like, some form of black-green mid-range, um, some twin variant, affinity, yeah. zoo, some maybe blue white red control, and also scape shift. Ooh, so Nemesaurus is calling, uh, calling for a uh, hexproof. Yeah, Boggles win. Uh, it could be a good... 
It seems bad Oof. against all the Lilianas, though. All right, so Ned just played something pretty fun. So he fetched the Misty Rainforest, got an Underground Sea, uh -huh. um, and all in response to Greg casting Night of the Reliquary. Yes. Um, and then dazed. And then dazed the Night of the Reliquary. Sure. Uh, well, he brainstormed and then found a daze sure. and then was able uh, to daze. So, like, the sequence of, like, plays are, like, just lined up really well. Sure. And it's just, I think that, like, very... Uh, Quintessential of Legacy, more or less. Yeah. The problem here for Ned is, like, he's done a good job of slowing Pino down, but he didn't have a, a flip Delver, you know, taking shots at got no pressure. life total the whole time. Yeah. This is another dazable threat, though, if he has one. I mean, he had he has to... A force. He had to look for that daze. He probably though. has to force. Yeah. Which is... Which is fine for Pino because Pino still got that Stoneforge Mystic in his hand, which I'm actually surprised to see Pino playing Stoneforge Mystic. Um, he usually plays like two. Uh, but he's also not like the biggest fan of Stoneforge right, Mystic. Right, but he recognizes that it's very powerful and it gives his deck some consistency. Ooh, so there's a Dark Confidant coming down. Um, That's pretty good. And then we're going to see Deathrite Shaman eat a land just to make another one. We'll bring Deathrite or Dark Confidant up. Yep. So it looks like Pino might have a third. No, he doesn't have another knight. Oh, it's a rhino in the back of his hand. Oh, does he have a rhino? I think so. Jeez. This is a stone forge that can't be dazed. This is pretty good. I wonder what he's going to get. Jite? That makes sense. All right. I'm okay with Jite. With a bunch of uh, little creatures on the board, Jit seems pretty good. But Ned's going to flip over an abrupt decay right here, which uh, seems quite, quite the answer to Umazawa's Jite. Um, now drawing for his turn. Third land laid down. This is an abrupt decay going after Stoneforge Mystic. Which is fair, I think. It does let his Bob probably get in. And how, what did Bob hit for? Bob took two life because it was abrupt decay. Sure. Um, I think I would attack with the Dark Confidant and offer the trade with the Dryad Arbor because... Either it's leaving Pino on very low resources, or it is going to get in for two damage. But I think Ned is going to elect to not do that. Eating another land here, I think he's pondering. Okay. So pondering, that's going to be the last card in Ned's hand, right? Yep. This and is, so we see this land, ponder, got. Delver. So he can set, he can get Delver and... He can't cast it this turn, so it's not actually going to be set up. No, but... He's putting the Ponder, the third card, down. Yeah, which is fine. So he's going to draw the... The land. No, no, no. He'll draw the Delver this turn. Oh, okay. And he'll draw the land the next turn. I see. And then he'll flip the Delver well, and be able to fetch the land. No, because Dark Confidant's going to speed that up, actually. Oh, that's very true. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't actually work. No, but we are going to see Siege right now. He's going to be... He should have left the land on top because that's what he'll reveal to Bob. He did. He okay. did leave the land on top. Sure. Um, yep. Do we see any... Did Greg have any other damage dealt to him? Not yet. He didn't attack. He didn't Ned attack? Didn't okay. Attack. No. Um, that's, he, and, again, oh. I think attacking with the Bob would have been okay. We missed uh, two followers. Thank you for following. Dredge6, thank you for following. Um, yep. And did we? Did I just miss another fetch? Or? Uh, oh no, he's shuffling off the ponder. Yes. Okay. Um, and then people are asking about Tron. How do you feel about Tron in Modern? Seems. I have mixed good. feelings. It seems good against the black green decks and maybe the blue white red control Ooh. decks, but it doesn't seem very good against Affinity or Zoo. So we have a Hymn to Torah coming down. Uh, Target player is going to discard two cards at random. Very good. Unless your opponent has a Wootleaf Legion hand. Yep. Greg knows about that. That happened twice. <laughs> Both times, things. my opponents looked like they had been kicked in the face. Oh, yeah. You basically are. <laughs> uh, so I didn't actually do it. Greg's going to pitch a Source of Plasher and a Mom. We'll bring up Wootleaf Legion since we're making jokes about it. Looks like Tarmogoyf is 4-5, by the way, folks. All right. Well, there's a sweet Tarmogoyf die. Expertly, craftily made, 
right there. I don't know if you can tell by the looks crafting like shift it. that's happening in there. Looks great. Yeah, it, it looks real great. Doesn't look like it was made by a five-year-old. No, it doesn't look like it was made by a five-year-old at all. Not at all. Everybody in chat, let us know how much you love the Tarmogoyf die. How much would you pay for it? In how much would you pay for it? How many jelly beans would you trade at lunch for that Tarmogoyf die? At least 60 jelly beans. I was going to say like five. <laughs> at least 60. It's it's fine. I think you're really undervaluing what a, what a jelly bean's worth. So, so Pin, er, Pino could just equip Jitte. <laughs> Oh, she do see dry now? Seems all right. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's gonna. Oh, Scarabranger's fine too. Yeah. He might cast the jet. Or not. Yep, he's gonna cast it and have mana for days. Even. Oh, well, maybe not actually. So he just ramped himself basically with Scarabranger's activated ability. You're gonna pull up Scarabranger. R Y B. Ah, there you go. <laughs> this is why I have Greg here, so you can just tell me that. Yeah. Uh, so protection from blue, not doing a whole lot here, but you get to. There is a Delver. Oh, there's a Delver. Very true. Um, and it's going to be a good thing to hold a Jitte because it gets over the Tarmogoyf. Ooh. Waves would say Waves is saying that they'd give 200 jelly beans. I agree. Okay. So this Ned. Is a sweet Ned, guy. Ned can block here, but the problem is that. They'll just bounce off of each other. Well, but, and the jit, the jit I mean, counter is the though. jits, the counter is gonna finish off the goif. I would definitely double block if you're gonna block at all, and probably double blocking is for the best, frankly. Yeah. Um, so here, yeah, the Delver dies. Well, I guess you put all the damage on the goif. On sure. The goif. Okay. Sure. Finish off the goif, then he can kill. Bob. Ooh, the Bob. Yeah. All right. Delver uh, doesn't matter that much with Scrib Ranger no, and Jitte in play. Uh, and then see me thirty eight. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, uh, oh, he forgot bonner. to flip Delver. <laughs> That's rough. I think Pino might be saying it's okay. Nope. No. 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 <laughs> Pino. Pino of all people is gonna sit, not gonna tell him that it's okay. Yeah. I mean, from this spot, I think. P like, well, Pino had a good quote last night. Yeah. I was sitting next to him while we were playing Modern, and he right. was just like, you know what? I don't have very many hobbies. Magic is my main one, so I take magic very seriously. Yeah. As somebody was making a play mistake and Pino was pointing out, which I agree with. Yeah. Like, if you're going to play a game and you're playing at a competitive level... You want to be good at it. You want to be good. Yeah. And you should hold people to a certain standard. So, Ned has... The <laughs> I think he has to shuffle. He really needs to find Abrupt Decay right now. Didn't it already just shuffle? He played two ponders. Oh, we played two ponders. Okay, mm -hmm. so he had the same reveal as he did with the first ponder. Because the first ponder was Brainstorm yes. Fetch. And the Delver has failed to fetch, or flip both times. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Alright, oh, is God. this Abrupt Decay? Nope, him to Turok. That's uh, alright. Jedi Minecraft, craft. Empty, hello. Empty the hand. Swords, alright. That's not the worst. The problem here, of course, is that Ned's board is about to get whittled down every turn by Jitte. I think I would put it on Scrib Ranger and get to town. Uh, Nasaka wants to have the die more than either a land tax or a Vindicate. Fuck you, Greg. Everybody wants it. Everyone wants it. Alright, so here we're going to get... Uh, so that's just one damage coming across, right? Yes. So I Ned's going to go to nine. I think I would just fit, kill the Delver now. I think... Uh, could you do it in response to the trigger? If you wanted to get fancy? Eh. But I agree. Like, why take a chance? Just go ahead and kill it. It's green sun, X equals two. Sure. Is he getting... Kasali Pride Mage? No. Scavenging use. That seems very good. Apparently somebody would pay, uh, Josh, you boy, would pay their left arm for a Tarmogoyf. Fun That's times. not valuing your arm very much. <laughs> It is not valuing your <laughs> arm very much. I feel like my arm is worth more than two hundred dollars. I agree. My arm as well. Could be wrong. I think uh, your arm is worth a solid. Uh, do we see? What did we just see happen here? Was there uh, some activations green... of? Oh. Uh, mm, Death right? I thought he was tapped yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was one activation eating the swords. Okay. Sure. So he should be at twenty. Because all of Ned's oh. mana was tapped. Yeah. So he ate a land and then. Yeah. Okay. Here, 
a so wasteland taking Kino, care of Kino the Kino elected to not eat arbor. The, the Delver does not seem like it flipped yeah yeah so and Ned went after the Dryad, Dryad Arbor, Arbor but he picked up. yeah used for <laughs> used Scrub Ranger's ability to return yep. the forest to his hand and to untap the Scrub Ranger. trick. Yeah, it happens. Yep. Pino is uh, he going after anything with these counters? Nope. No, he's just going to go up. So Ned's going to go to I eight. I think I would eat some stuff, but I always like killing things with Jit immediately. Yeah, I know you do. Sometimes because you're a greedy son of a bitch. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's a death right. Looks like he's gonna eat something in response, which is fine. Is it gonna be a creature or a think spell? I would I actually like the eating Going a creature, creature to gain he some has life. To extend yeah. the game and hope to find an abrupt decay for this jit that's yeah. dominating the board. Will yeah. Delver flip and will it be abrupt decay? Alright, yep, so it will. <laughs> Um, and apparently, uh, so an, arm, an arm is worth at least a playset of Goyfs. Okay. Um, that seems right. I think Ned's just conceding, because the problem is that the uh, scavenging ooze is going to be... Yeah, it's going to take... Very over. lethal. <laughs> yeah. um, even with that abrupt decay on top. Yep. Because he has to answer the jet and the yeah. scavenging ooze. He was going to die to one or the other. Um, also, apparently, you can sell your testicle... For two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow! Did not know that. That seems like a bad deal. I would consider. Ah, what, what if you're like fifty years old? Can oh, then I would a hundred percent sell I it. I can't imagine they'd pay that much for oh, an old know. testicle. <laughs> uh, people are asking how much our kidneys are worth. It's going to be awkward to play. <laughs> ma- <laughs> it's going to be awkward to play magic if you use your body parts to pay for a goyf play. Can set. anyone pinpoint the agree. spot where our chat turned into an <laughs> organ auction? <laughs> I'm okay with an organ auction. New, uh, new, is, new is, switch name. Is, organ auction. <laughs> <laughs> it's just organ auction XYZ. Got it. Is uh, is GT good? No, it's a bad card. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, um, is, uh, see, I can I can spell Japanese stuff. Yeah. It's because I can speak it for me. But, um, so there's GT. No, GT is a really bad card. Uh... Goyf is actually a blue card. Uh, fun fact. Uh, oh, cause, 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 already said that Goyf is blue. That makes sense. Painter makes Goyf blue. That's true. Uh, Marianne just texted me telling me to sell my testicle. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne in chat. Marianne likes money. <laughs> <laughs> you only need one, Greg. Just make sure you get the more function in one. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta figure out which one that I'm is. I'm not gonna lie. If somebody was like, hey, would you be willing to give up one of your testicles and I'll give you 250 grand? I'd be like, I, I, I would that. give that a. Str- I'm not gonna say 100% a, on the spot right now that I would do money. it. I would give that a strong. I would have no school debt at that point. That's pretty great. I would like that would be strong. I would be able to pay off all debt that I own right it's now. That's pretty great. And I would like that. That would have strong consideration. I'd be like, oh my god, that's uh. Maybe we can work something out. Yeah. Maybe can I give you half a nut? Uh, maybe. I don't know if that works. They cut it in half. Yeah. That sounds <laughs> horrific. <laughs> uh, skin, ten dollars a square inch. Wow. Is it really? I don't know. Doctor Derp, he's a doctor, so I'm sure he knows. That sounds bad. Yeah. I don't know, a square inch? Just like that much? Ten dollars? Oh, no, that would suck, yeah. That's not yeah. what? <laughs> you can grow that stuff pretty easily. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, uh, I bid one wasteland on both of Mark's kidneys. Okay. I'm not for this. I have four wastelands. You're going to have to sweeten that pot a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all you got to sweeten it. Let's get some, uh, let's get some agave nectar in yeah. there. Just give that all natural sweet nah. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. I'm going to wear your hat, Greg. <laughs> all right. It's cold. All right. It's all right. On to game it's two. Good. Shadow of Doubt 97. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. Oh, Mark, make game. Mark, your head's a lot bigger than mine. No, it's not. You just got to wash your hat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ned, 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 Ned's at 19 here. Uh, uh, <laughs> off of that Vernon Catacombs fetch. Uh, both players with a uh, Death Rite Shaman in play. Yep. Um, let's bring up Death Rite Shaman. Why not? Yep, no one knows what that does. Hey, we got new people in chat all the time. We do. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it to Greg to give you his nectar for your kidneys. Um, Greg, you have to wear this hat, all right? No, I don't. Yes. I was going to wear my hat. You look like Popeye. It's good. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure asking somebody to give you a nut in exchange for money is prostitution. That's probably true. Uh... So is Greg short of land or oh Ned was on the play pass yeah. and then okay here we go Correct. so Ned's an eighteen now yep don't you yep me yep you goddamn yippy yuppy bastard yippy 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 yuppy that's science yep <laughs> shut up Greg <laughs> this is a Delver ooh dark confidant into Delver quite the trifecta uh they're just shuffling after Ned's turn. Still from the fetch land. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just put the deck down to speed up. Oh, okay, turn. sure, 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 sure. Mud for life. I completely agra agree, Doctor S. Everybody, I did pretty well with mud over the weekend. I think no. Happy about How it. How many copies of mud were in day two? Three. Like three it's three good. copies. Me, some other guy that lost, um, and then somebody else. Indeed. And only about half of the day two feel moneyed. All right. Yeah, fuck that day two field. Day two field not worth. <laughs> it was. Uh, and then there was a storm, which means I couldn't even play it out to try to money. Uh, yep. Thalia coming down. We're gonna flip a brainstorm. Good things. Or is this a reveal to? Okay. Now there. All right. So Ned's gonna go down to seventeen here, though. Yeah. Uh, too many doctors in chat. I agree. Yeah, fetches are very bad. Hashtag fetch lands suck. Get it trending. Everybody's happy. Yep. There's a Delver swing. Going down to 17 for Greg. Uh, I did bad. We chatted. Oh, we did chat. Hey, Doctor. How you doing? Nice. Doctor, are you Cheez-Its' friend? Or are you somebody else? Got a frame of reference. Because I don't remember everybody's screen name. I think that was the guy who sat next to us. He came by a couple of times, including yeah, Jesus is maybe friend. after you left. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go down to sixteen here. I don't know who Cheese is. Cheeses? Cheeses. I don't know who Cheese. They 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 were like they were a couple of mud players together. Oh yeah, okay. Cheeses had the beard. Oh, then I know Cheeses. Yeah, Cheeses was awesome. I like Cheeses. I don't know if Cheeses is still in chat. I'm gonna talk him up though. Uh, All that oh god. M Mono blue devotion. Yes. We did chat it. Oh, that's a rhino. Oh, I was on Greenstone. Oh, uh, this right. is gross. That's a rhino. Oh, Dr. Satan. Alright, that's right. How many rhinos is Pino playing? Or is he just drawing the, the one copy again and again? I don't know. I want everybody to see my lovely hat that I have on now. Yeah. But nobody is, nobody is paying attention. <laughs> uh, so, a reveal of Delver to... Dark Confidant. Ned gonna go down uh, 16 for that. Did you also take the uh, trigger from the Siege Rhino life? Swing? Oh, I did not. Sorry. God damn it, Greg. You're just a B. bad person. It's my B. Yeah, it is your B. How do you feel about it? Not bad enough. My tooth hurts. I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow because I cracked that shit. How did you crack it? I don't know. I was eating food. That sounds awful. It Not not pleasant. Why do you think I'm drinking? And it's hurting still. Jeez. That's the third Delver. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pino needs a ratchet bomb. Uh, a ratchet bomb would be good. I got to ratchet bomb away two flip delvers on Saturday. How'd that feel? I've it done that. felt great. I've done that a good chunk. And a goif. Oh. Why not? That is Why? quite the menagerie. <laughs> this is this is what we like to call a board. Yeah. There's no lands in the art, so Pino's got Jite in hand. Um, Pino's going to take three from this delver that it has flipped. He also um, doesn't have enough mana anyway because... Uh, oh, there's a land in the yard, he would. Oh, well, no, no. It costs three. Valley, if there were two lands If there were two lands. Well, that does it, right? Four yes. Four or five? Yep. Yeah. Um, does it. Um, and this will be enough to clear two Delvers away. This is going to be really good. <laughs> Oof. Well, actually, Ned can fight 
for mana. Actually, I guess Pino has two death rights. Pino has two death rights. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is this is fine. So Pino Jeez. is going to fall to fifteen though, fetching that land. He's going to put the Jite on the Rhino. Yeah, you it's have to put the gross. Jite on the Rhino. Uh, who's selling something on a black market? What flavor sense does this make? <laughs> uh, to be fair, Siege Rhino does have an entire platoon on its back. Hmm. Oh. So that way it could very well carry. Sure. So G -tag. Ned let that happen. He didn't fight with death right. I mean, I guess he knew he just he couldn't. He wasn't gonna win the fight. Yeah. I would have made him tap the other one though. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but this I mean, is maybe he's real thinking... bad for Ned. Womp 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 womp. With this one hit, he can kill two Delvers or like a Delver. And okay, a so Tarmogoyf is how big right now? A zero one. Oh God. He trampled over for, for three. three. Ned is in a bad spot. Yeah, so wipe the two Delvers off the face uh, of the earth. Yeah. yeah, I think the Dark Confidence fine. Ned's That's at the way 10. you're losing the game is yeah, the, triple flip Delver. Yeah, <laughs> and Ned's at 10, so even if he takes, like, you want him to take another one well, or two. there's the answer for the Jit. But the problem is that the Rhino and the Thalia might be able to race back. Exactly. That's what, I'm, like, like, that's what I mean. Right. Like... True Although the tr pretty good, yeah, but true name is interesting. The tramp on Rhino is just so relevant. Yeah, Derp, you can post a link um, as long as it's not porn. Yep. Uh, Gucci Dorito. <laughs> Wait, is that Gucci Yolo Dorito? It is. Yeah, that's a stinky bathroom. Okay. No, you close that all the way. You don't just like, oh, it smells a little bit. Let me look. just crack it so it leaks out over time. <laughs> no, you you lock that away, Greg. Yeah. You lock that away. Just like my emotions. Uh, we know your emotions are locked away. Yeah. Come here, come here. Yeah, mm. let them loose, Mark. Uh, start crying for me. Unlock my world. <laughs> I rock your world, I don't unlock it. Okay. Siege Rhino and Legacy, Patrick Chapin. I mean, it's a four man, a fucking four or five that drains for three. Yep. I think it's fine. It's okay. It's a good thing the Green Sun Zenith for in mid range matchups. <laughs> Dr. Derp helping us out with how much. Body parts cost in the black market. Uh, link for us. Yep. That's so nice. So there is the there is the uh, Brep Decay coming down. Getting rid I of that. Uh, he's taking six Chite. and going to two. He is taking six and going to two. That's the match. Uh, Pino is, Pino yeah. is at twelve though from the yep. Delver, but Pino just activates Deathrite Shaman. Getting yep. rid of the Brep Decay. Ned yeah. was screwed. Um, what are you gonna have to see Should if I go we can? Look? Yeah, go see, go look. Okay. Everybody can see my hat. Hi guys. Greg, I'm gonna stretch the shit out of this hat. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god, this is good. There we go. All right. He won with Rhino. He does. He did win with Rhino. Guys, how do you like my owl hat? That's what. That's what the real question is. Is is the owl hat doing good things for you? It does the good things for Greg. So I took it to steal his mojo. Uh, but, uh, Gucci Yolo Dorito, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, Jeff Foxworthy penis replacement surgery joke. It happens. That happens. Uh, sometimes you gotta replace it. And, uh, possibly reasons of your own. Possibly not. Maybe somebody came at you uh, with a knife in your sleep. Hashtag Lorena Bobbitt. Maybe sometimes you fell on some poles. Hashtag construction worker. We don't know. I don't make these things up. You stole his Hooters. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> an owlbear ate the announcers. <laughs> ah, it's true. Oh, nice. I, uh, Greg, I stole your Hooters. As well as an owl bearer has eaten both of us. Okay. I would agree with that. I'm okay with this sentiment. Oh my goodness! Oh god, I'm just so beautiful. What is in your hair, Mark? Where? You gotta use head and shoulders. I do. Deal with it. <laughs> I am. This is me dealing with. No, it. I scratched my head. So. <laughs> it's that radiator heat. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> dry your shit out. Alright, anyway. Uh, no, it's not. That's why we're trying to move. Alright, who do we got? Uh, oh, Kevin, we got Dredge Kevin again? Kevin Bogner. 
They were the Kevin one, and Bogner. They were the All ones right. who were conveniently in between games. I think they're sure. both one and one. Bogner's playing miracles. All right, so Kevin Kingsley. Kingsley. All right, right player name. Uh, he's on Miracles. Mm -hmm. So he switched up. He was on Charlotte's Bug right until we, like, huh. literally five minutes before things happened. Sure. It's Ryan Bogner. Bogner. I gotta get in the habit of saying this. So we'll make we'll bring up the card that makes Miracles Miracles. What? I'm gonna put counter counterbalance up there. <laughs> okay. Just just not. Keyboard not a, miracles not a miracle at card, all. But um, and you said these guys are one and one, right? Yes, I believe so. Uh, or a game three, right? Yes. What up, Siege Rhino? <laughs> all right. Two best one of both games. Yeah. All right, so. No one's three. Okay. And uh, then let's see. Um, what am I doing here? I don't know what you're doing here. What am I doing? Oh, oh, they're actual records. Uh, left they player. Are, oh, yeah, they're one and one. They're one and one. Yeah. One of these days, I will figure out how to work this. I agree. What is chat saying? Uh, Me and hurtful things. <laughs> <laughs> when are they not? When are they not? <laughs> All right. So it looks like both players are, are saddling up. It looks like Kevin is on the play. It does Perhaps. seem like that. That seems likely in this matchup. Is this Bogner mulliganing or is he yes, still Yes, I believe Bogner is mulliganing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he needs to find his interaction cards to extend the game. Uh, so, Zombie Apocalypse. Sorry we didn't get to you. Legacy is one of the formats of Magic. It's, um... Uh, so you, you've got Vintage, Legacy, Modern, and Standard. And Limited. And Limited, but we'll leave Limited off. Sure. Um, each one of those formats, Vintage, you can play the most cards. Legacy, you can play almost all the cards, going back to the beginning of the set. Modern, you have a cutoff about midway through Magic's history, currently. Standard, you've got about the past, like, year to two, two years. years. Yeah. Um, depending on where you are in the set. Yes. Or in the cycle. Uh, land tax and a vindicate. Nice. What's a land tax? <laughs> it's a. Uh, oh, legends? Yeah, it it's is, a legend. But look at the corners. Someone uh, made them a little darker than they were. Oh, a little touch up. <laughs> yeah, little touch -up a little job. touch up. Yeah. <laughs> Very skillful touch up. Hell, it's still. It is pretty sweet. Legends. Still. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Just yep. log out of my <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin's doing some some good things here. He's got. <laughs> I wonder what Pino's Twitch name is. Uh, Bet it's neither reliquary. I I was gonna say Maverick. <laughs> just straight Maverick. He was lucky enough to get it. What are those dice for? I have no clue. I think they're just ornamenting the table right now. Yeah, they're separating, uh, separating from the good from the bad. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know which is which, but. <laughs> um, so it looks like Kevin's only got one dredger in the yard right now, though. He just has. Just the thug. Oh, that's a rest in and peace. And there's a rest in peace. Floating mana, nature's claim. Nature's claim does. Force of does Bogner have an answer? He has force of all. Does he does have a blue he? card? I believe he has force. Yep. Pitching chase. Yeah. That seems good. I mean, it seems fine for Bogner. Yep. Not so much for Kevin. Does he have? Nope, he does not have another. This is an attack for two. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this... Get there. This could get there. Get there. Like, it's, it's, Bogner if, needs a terminus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, well, if Bogner, like... Uh, Bogner. Huh? Bogner. Oh, uh, Bogner, Bogner, like... Ooh, so this is interesting. This is a Engineer Explosive oh. on two, which is really awkward. That goes up his own rest in peace. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if that play was right. So, rest in peace... Two converted mana cost. I guess he doesn't have to blow it. It just gives him an insurance policy if he doesn't draw a terminus. Sure. Or like just some way to answer the narc amoebas. God, yeah, because now it's gonna get rid of a counterbalance too. Yeah, I think he's only blowing that if he absolutely has to, though. Yeah. 
Kevin's not doing anything else, you know? Yeah. He just, he's not <laughs> at all. So it's really just... But I mean, this is... Wagner's going to set up the rest of his game. If he can get anything going... But this is still whittling away. Okay, that helps. Yeah. I mean, this... He needs, like, a single 4-4 four -four angel, you know? Like, he needs very little to invalidate the Narcomibas. I mean, I don't, like, yeah. This is a top. Counterbalance, another, another rest in peace. And I didn't see, I think it, I think it might have been a Terminus. Terminus would help. Uh, no, fetch. He has a Enlightened Tutor in hand, but I think that's not gonna... Well, he... Do you think he's playing Helm? Who, Ryan? Yeah. If he's playing Possibly? Enlightened Tutor, he has Enlightened Tutor in hand. Oh, then yeah. I would imagine he is. It seems like that's what's going on. So, Bogner at 9. Yep. And actually at eight, right? Because he just fetched. Yeah. I don't know if I, I like think, fetching because it's well, speeds up. I think he's up doing it because he might be enlightened tutoring, and if he fetches, then he can enlighten tutor, and then top. And if he finds if he land, finds he wins. the fifth land to put under, yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah, all right. Oh, he there's just a helm, helm on top. Right there. All right. Yes, yeah, he could. He had enough mana that he could top, then e tutor, then top again. Sure. Um, this situation, I don't know if there's a land in those three cards is the issue. He can just like draw the helm. Now top. Oh, oh or just, just play chase. chase. <laughs> Jace brainstorm. Okay. He has batter skull in hand too. Yeah. And a land for Batter Skull. <laughs> that seems good as well. It doesn't seem like the Narcomibas are going to get the job done, frankly. No. Uh, I was hoping they'd get there. Just because <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. Gotta love Narcomibas. Ooh, Cabal Therapy. Cabal therapy. Alright. I don't know what I would name in the dark, though. It's the problem. Uh... So he's going to get on to 19. Kevin going to 19 after activating his uh, mana confluence. Right. Cabal therapy targeting targeting Bogner. Fetching. Uh, down to 7. Fetching down to 7. Doesn't matter. It doesn't speed his clock up at all. Nope. He's so. topping in response, it seems like. Or maybe he's casting Enlightened Tutor in response, actually. Oh, oh the... yeah, yeah. You just cast Enlightened Tutor in response, put Helm on top, and then untap and win the game, right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> just topping. Oh, he's just looking for a... I don't think, like, the... Yeah, Stoneforge and Jace among those cards. Yeah, and Kevin also... Oh, he's just countering the Cabal Therapy. Yeah. That seems fine, too. <laughs> yeah, well, that, 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 I mean, like, even if he can't counter it there, Kevin can't afford to sack one of the Narcomibas. Right. Oh, how did he get basic planes off of Scalding Tarn? Uh, you might want to go yell that. I think it's too late, but... I mean, if he has another land that he can get, then they can just switch it out, and then they can shuffle it up. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna go address that. And, uh, he's apparently at... Alright, sorry guys, he's at 17. Missed the mana compliments activations earlier. The two faithless looting. Uh... Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, Legacy, the only affordable format that counts. Uh, I don't believe it's uh, affordable. Could be wrong. Yeah, Is that what they said? Yeah, it's not gonna really impact the game anyway. Like, his color... There's no non-basic hate in Dredge, and it's not going to affect this game at all. So, sure, because it's ending right now. <laughs> and that's game. Yeah, I think Kevin would have just conceded anyway. Yeah. All right, you want to see if there's? Uh, you want me to go see if there's another one? Sure. You can. You, you handle this. I'll reset. Good. I'll do Thank this. you. Oh. 
All right. Resetting the overlay. Try to get an interesting match on camera in the last round. Kind of want to see Chuck's Jeskai Ascendancy deck with Humble Defector. It sounds cool. I want to see some shenanigans. What do we got going on in the chat here? Budget decks? Leg legacy budget decks? I'd say pick pick a good deck. Just save up some money, sell some cards, get a good legacy deck that you are excited about for a long time, and it'll pay for itself long term if you do well with it. One thing you can do is if you build one legacy deck, you can look for like local dual land tournaments or stuff like that that still exist and if you play well play enough of those tournaments you can kind of build a f more full legacy collection also there are certain paths you can take like if you had the cards for blue red delver but those got banned you can try to get another set of dual lands and build out into like blue white red delver or maybe uh what else Really, you can go many directions, like Grixis Control, or you can build Storm, even. Uh, Fappy Heat, yes, there is one Elves player. It's Phil Silberman, who's a horrible person because he beat me in the open. And last I checked, he was 2-0. He was in the other 2-0 match, the one that was off camera. He was playing against... Uh, Jeskai Delver, I believe, which is Elves' hardest Delver matchup because the amount of spot removal that they play, but it's prob it's it's a close matchup overall, I would say. Um, looking about 10 minutes left in the round. Mark's out in the field checking to see if we can get another match. Ooh, CP in the chat says right now I'm saving for Tundras for blue-white Stifle Knot since the rest of it is already cheap. I think that's a pretty sweet idea. Um, you can take a look at like Cloudform probably, right? That new card from uh, this most recent set seems really good with Phyrexian Dreadnought. Uh, Gib Tuck Miracles took that game against Dredge. He found. Uh, Helm of Obedience to combo with Rest in Peace, which is incidentally really good against Dredge. <laughs> I also forgot that we had World Warger Dragon and Who? a copy of Storm. So World Warger Dragon Who's combo. playing that? Uh, uh, dude Man Black Hair. Okay. <laughs> uh, I forget what his name is. All right. Uh, he doesn't come very often. All right. Um, and then he's playing against Storm right now. It looks like Storm is... They played game one. Storm won game one. Okay. Game two they drew. Um, How? I don't know. <laughs> I don't ask these questions. I have, I have an idea. I mean, I, I do too. It probably involves World Gorge Dragon. Probably. Uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, game three they're in right now. If they if Storm doesn't win, Storm was going off. So if Storm doesn't win here, I imagine we'll get them on camera. Something tells me that's probably not going to happen. Sure. There's only a couple minutes left in the round anyway. Yeah. Um, next round, though, I think we're going to get... Uh, I think we're gonna get uh, ascendancy on camera. Nice. Is he yeah. two and one? Yeah. Sweet. What did he play against this round? Uh, Deathless Bug. Oh, Kyle. Okay. Yeah. So and apparently Kyle had the onboard kill. Okay. Um, but it was complicated. He had to uh, do the. You know, I can't even think. He had to dredge dark blast, get dark black, dark blast back. Okay. Uh, kill one of the tokens. Swing into a Mirren Crusader, okay, to, and the, to do two damage over. Okay, with trample, you mean? Yeah, with trample. So okay. I guess he was at two, oh. but since Kyle forgot to dredge the dredge the Dark Blast back to kill the token, he was able to block with token and oh. Mirren Crusader. So that just sounds like a punt. Yeah, <laughs> so Kyle punted. Yes. Yeah. Um, Asian guy almost leap. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. <laughs> Uh, what's blue, white, red tokens? Huh? 
what's white, blue, red tokens? Who's playing that? I don't know. But Beta Counterspell wants oh, to know. Oh, Crimson Viper called it out. Oh, uh, I'm trading everything away, including my pet deck. Uh, the standard, I guess? It could be Legacy. It could just be like a Young Pyromancer Monastery Mentor deck. Oh, fair enough. I mean, All that's right. what I'm guessing. Yep. <laughs> Gibson, no raffle yet. Oh my god, I am psychic. Are you psychic? <laughs> Look at what type No, I know, I know. <laughs> I didn't read that. I know you didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> Beta Counterspell, thank you for tuning in, if I remember correctly. Little, uh, we got a little Swedish action there going on. Yeah. Yeah. Little, let me just shove this cork up your nose. Uh, you already just hit me in it. the eye, so... Uh, yeah, that's to get it lubricated. More holes. Get it lubricated. Everybody knows. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm tired. I am excited for the Pro Tour. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually pretty excited, too. Yeah, I'm going to get up at 8. It's going to be great. <laughs> on nice, is there a dot, dot, dot. Beta, come on. Help us out here. Yeah. Is there a World Gorger deck? There is. Yes. I guess people people really want to see it. Uh, I don't know what the best build is. Like <laughs> Gib Tuck, thank you for following. It's a good name. It is. I don't know... Like, there are a bunch of lands that you can play that let you incidentally win with World Gorger. Like, uh, Nephalia Drownyard, you know? Because every time... Oh, it comes back in, you activate it. Yeah, then... every cycle you go through, yeah. you float mana. I like Piranha Marsh. What does that do? Oh, Sorry, please you, pull you, up you Piranha ask. Marsh. Let's see you spell... You mean pur Piranha? Shut up. There's an I in Piranha. P-I-R... It's right there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shut up, Greg. Oh! I never get tired of it. <laughs> prana. <laughs> I was attacked by some angry pranas. <laughs> P-R-A. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what the heck is Piranha Marsh? So Piranha Marsh? Oh. Whenever it enters the battlefield, target played at least in one. All right. Yeah, I guess that's okay. It just wins! Yeah, I guess, so the... It does just win. The difference <laughs> between this and Drown Yard is like... Drown know, Yard it loses to Emrakul. Okay, sure. So it has that downside. But it also, like... It, it is an untapped land. And in a deck that actually can use colorless mana. Sure, sometimes. but this in play, you just win. I understand. You just, you just win. You do just win. This is... Strictly better than... I don't know if it's strictly better. It's it is strictly... Like conditionally, all right, Chet. I think that is the definition of conditionally better. <laughs> all right, Chet, you're playing a World Gorger deck. Would you rather have Nefalia Drownyard? Uh, In a World Gorger deck, you can go turn one in Tomb, turn two, dang. animate dead. Off of Underground Sea plus Nefalia Drownyard. This can't do that. This right. Is so be would you rather three. have Drown Yard? There are other lands as well, like um, or Piranha Marsh. All right. That, that, this is the question right now. All right. If you're going off with Lord Gorger Dragon, mm. fuck you. Chad. Would you rather have Piranha Marsh or Nefalia Drown Yard? You guys, let us know. So far, two votes for Marsh. I'm gonna go ahead and say Marsh is the winner. I think those were votes for Randy Marsh. <laughs> for Randy Marsh. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather have a pile of commons than a white green G deck. <laughs> World uh, Gorger Dragon. Oh, World Dragon Dragon deck. <laughs> All right, Una, Marsh hype. Oh, you got one yard. Una Look at that. Cool. You got you got one one person for you. Thank you. Uh, I also right, played so, World. I played a lot in a failure Dragon yard and standard, and that card's sweet. So World Gorger Dragon. Oh nope, nope, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. All right, so World Gorger Dragon. So basically what this deck does is it, uh, when it comes into play, you remove all of the permanents you control from the game. So basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to target the, you're trying to get it in your graveyard, then target it with a Animate, animate Dead. Dead. Or Necromancy. Uh, animate Dead. Necromancy, I Which guess. is an artifact. Or excuse me, not an artifact. Enchantment, an enchantment, yeah. enchant creature. Or a... Basically, you Necro. want your reanimation spell to be a permanent that World Gorger can exile. It's Necromancy, right? Yes. Necromancy. Um, Necromancy. Yeah. 
No, it's necromancy. Yeah, it's probably just necromancy. Yeah, it's necromancy. <laughs> the, Fuck you, Greg. The emphasis is yeah. on the first syllable. Yeah, got you. Got you. I can't spell, but at least I can pronounce stuff. Yeah. Uh, prana. Anyway. Prana Marsh. <laughs> I know how to say prana. Um, anyway, so basically you're looking for an enchantment. Uh, when World of Gorgeous Dragon comes into play, yes. the enchantment goes away. Um, but then the World Gorgeous Dragon leaves play at that point. Yes. Um, and then the enchantment comes back in. So basically yes. you have a loop of endless cycling going like that. So if you have a Piranha Marsh in play or a Nefali Drown Yard, which is the worst well, one. I think there's a little more to it, isn't there? No. It's just that. Well, if... No, because the, the World Gorger is coming back and then it's going to the graveyard. Yeah. In, in the loop. Yeah. Because that's why the, the necromancy or the anime dead needs to target it again. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's miracles. I don't care. That's fine. It's fine with me. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Um, Good luck, humble defector. Yeah. So basically, you have a loop going like that, and then if you have Piranha Martian play, you just kill them. Or if you happen to have three land and a Nefalia Drown Yard in play, then you can kill them that way as well. Yeah. Because each time you just activate in response, and it's just bad. There's so many smells happening right now. It's yeah, just not I'm a good thing. Smelling my hat. There's. I'm not. You need that, do this. that thing like they had in the Victorian age where they smell. It's like <laughs> just like the giant like. Yeah, this little bag of stuff they keep in front of their nose. <sighs> Someone took a nasty dookie earlier in there. Yeah, it doesn't smell like shit in there now. Yeah. Yeah, because you just took a like shit. Smells like shit out here. <laughs> smells like All right. garbage. Every, everybody's saying Marsh. Yeah. There's like two people that are saying Drown Yard. Yeah. Three people that are saying Drown Yard. They're wrong. Mark, um, Mark was saying that Piranha Marsh is a better kill condition in World Gorger than Nefalia Drown Yard. Which is true. I don't know. I don't think... I think a creature that attacks might be better. <laughs> so, know. just World Gorger. <laughs> I think Bristle Brand might be better. Whatever. <laughs> Good luck, Tone. Alright, I want to see some Humble Defector. Everyone get excited. I want to see Chuck Gut Is Shot. Right? Is that right? Yes. Yeah! I want to see you. Chuck Gut Shot his Humble Defector to get one more trigger. And then it dies. <laughs> That'd be Whatever. sweet. That'd be sweet. I mean, he's got Homeward Path. What? I don't know what that does. What's Homeward Path? Uh, home... What? Here we go. What? Yeah. Why? Huh? Why? Just for Humble Defector? I think it's a one of. But I mean, that's pretty sweet. He's. I guess it is. But the problem is, he's playing for Jeskai Ascendancy, and that caused blue, white, red, and this test for colorless. Yolo. Yolo swag I guess, man. I guess. Colorless man does so little in his deck other than get his Humble Defector back. Yeah, but I guess if it's a one of. Like. It's okay. I don't it know. It seems he's, unnecessary. I would just play a gut shot. He said he said he was good things. Yeah. He said Homer Patsy good things. I guess. I don't know. I suppose. Uh, and untapping gut shot won't kill it. Why? Because it gets plus one plus one. Oh, shit. Out. God damn it. Whoa! Damn it. Shit. Whoa! So you have to shoot. It's not a May, right? It's just creatures get it. I don't know. Let's bring it up. I get it. Must not. Sorry, but I'm stupid. Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's not a May. Creatures you control go plus one, plus one. Shit! No. Shit! Hashtag Greg's bad at this game. <laughs> Whatever. Ponder off a of Chuck. Bogner's just gonna Bogner's just gonna say good to go. Good to uh, go. Let's see. That's a dig through time in Chuck's hand, I think. More than likely. Chuck has grown to love his Jeskai ascendancy. He also made those all those sweet uh tokens to keep track of his combo. He did. He did. It's useful. Like there's a lot of stuff happening on the turn. That's to go also off. that's also very like kind of him for his opponents. Yeah. Um, just to see everything that's happened. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be that kind. I'd be like, uh, no, nah, you, you It you seems pay so attention. easy to just like make shit up. Like you do so much on the turn that you kill. Yeah. 
like you could just start saying random numbers. It's like kind of the extent that people can do that with elves when they're playing really quickly. They say like, make three mana, make three mana, make three mana. <laughs> like, all right, I think I saw you do all that. Yeah. Uh, big words. There is a raffle. We're still going to be raffling off a sign to vindicate uh, here in just a little bit. So. That's a thing. It's gonna happen. Deju, there goes my ears. This is a turn two humble defector. Ooh, All right, let's bring that back. Has up. two Jeskai sentences in hand. Also a dig through time in hand. I don't Does he see, have the homeward path? I don't see homeward path. I don't see a way to kill the humble defector in response either. I mean, you can beat down with it for a while. Yeah, so I mean, like, ugh. I don't know. I imagine Chuck is going to try to force out the Jeskai Sentency that's got in hand. Right. Right? Like, right. Because here comes Counterbalance, and, like, you. Yeah. You need to try to force it. He's got two of them. Right. So. Yeah, that's a land. He really wanted to draw Force. Does he have Quicken in hand? Pretty sure that's a Quicken. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The Jeskai Sentency is going to resolve. Um, Tendency did not get blind counterbalance counter. Nope, and it's just going to swing in, so Bo uh, Bogner's going to go down to 17 here. I think Bogner's thinking about brainstorming back this Bogner? Terminus. Bogner. <laughs> right? He has brainstorm and Terminus in hand. Yeah. He might want to kill the humble defector. I guess he can... If he's got a... You said he does have a brainstorm? Yeah, I think he has brainstorm plus counterbalance. Oh, he doesn't have white mana, though. Sorry. Oh. All right, that's a little bit more yeah, awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's choosing the top in upkeep. So drawing. Oh, he's got a fetch land, so he can go get white. Right. After, but he wasn't going to be able to terminus from his his draw step right here. Yeah. Which he I think could. is fine because I think if you're if you're if you're Ryan, I think you want Chuck to try to start going off, and then as he's swinging in for lethal, you just kill him. Perhaps, yeah. Or you just terminus and say, okay. Well, he's not going to be... Uh, well, I guess he could brainstorm it back right now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, and and Chuck's got to be suspicious when Ryan immediately fetches and just goes and gets a white mana. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting getting... I guess basic planes is not terrible here. Uh... So is mental misstep or days better? Mental in, misstep in is banned. What? They know that mental misstep is banned, but just in general. It's all contextual. I, w I would agree with that. I think, like, in a... Just a general... General field days is probably going to be better. It's hard but to say. But mental misstep... In something like standard, days would be more powerful. Yeah. But in legacy or vintage, it's probably misstep. That's right. And it's probably not close, actually. Yeah, so we do see a we do see the brainstorm coming down from Bogner, um, probably putting that terminus back on top. We're gonna see a swing for two. Chuck's just gonna kind of play around some stuff. Uh, Bogner's gonna go down to fourteen here, and we're gonna see another Jeskai ascendancy triggers. Uh, untap your creature too, right? I guess yeah, you get to choose the order that you do it in. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there we Chuck go. Chuck does remember. His creature is now a 3-2. Although he did already attack. Or did he draw two off of it? I don't think he did. I think he's drawing two now. Yeah. Right? And in response, he's going to quicken. So he put... He put uh, a Humble Defector activation on the stack. He has two Jeskai Sentency triggers. So two untaps, potentially. Yep. He's going to Miracle Terminus in response to this. With all of these on the stack. This seems fine for Chuck, frankly. Yeah, because no, I he think still gets fine. the draw two. And he still yeah. gets the loots and the quicken draw. Like It's also interesting because I think Bogner's playing a uh, Rest in Peace Home variant. Oh, yeah. Where Rest in Peace is actually quite good against Chuck. Like the incidental. I mean, it's pretty. Index. It's pretty good, but it's not the most. It's insane not like thing. yeah. It's not backbreaking or anything, but it's like, it's incidentally effective. Oh, did Chuck miss his draw too? No, he drew. He has. Force. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He has. It looks like dig. He has the homeward path in his hand. He has force plus dig. Yeah, he has two lands. 
force dig. So lightning bolt. Okay. The draw. I think you might lead with the dig through time. Yeah, I think you called that. <clears throat> he needs to and find two triggers creature. off of Jessica Ascendancy. Yeah, he needs to find creatures. He also could use uh, some filling of his graveyard. Yeah. Uh, I'm is, just gonna pitch the land. Does not need more than five. Or no, he five does lands. not. Ooh, and there's a Fade Stitcher. There's Fade Stitcher and a Humble Defector. Okay. Those are the two he takes. <laughs> and that was that was not even a hesitation on his part as no. far as what he's going to take. He's probably going to play the Humble Defector, play the Homeward Path, if he hasn't already played a land. I guess he played a land. Or why give the Jig up, you know? Yeah, he isn't, he's not like he's using it this turn, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, I mean, if Humble Defector dies then Homeward Path is not very useful, and you can just discard it to Jeskai Ascendancy triggers. Yeah. Ascendancy is pretty... I like that it's still a legacy deck. Like, I, I just... I like that it is a legacy deck. Uh, yeah, I it's was about to say... It's not oppressive. No. It's definitely and, and not oppressive. Chuck has also put a ton of time and effort into this right. deck. He's doing... So. He does pretty well with it. No, he does. I don't know if his, like, overall win percentage, at least lately, um, but he definitely holds his own, and it's an archetype not a lot of people... Are really putting a ton of work into. That's very true, um, and it seems he did. We we are pretty sure he drew from his Quiggin. Yeah, I think he did. Yes, uh, there were a lot uh, of triggers there. Right, let's see. Uh, is in Legacy and then, or okay, Mental Misstep is more powerful. I sure. Uh, trigger tokens makes an MTGO where the stacks build up. Sure. Uh, and we're still waiting for. Bogner to do some things. All right, so we're going to see his swords to plowshare. We'll see if Chuck responds. Chuck could make just make it bigger. Yeah. To what end, though? Huh? Oh, more life and possibly being able to draw out of it. Yeah. Did he just... Yeah. Okay. I think he did that a little wrong. A little... little wrong. <laughs> sure. Uh, but Chuck's going to gain four. Three? Uh, four, four, yeah. Four, right, yeah, right, four right, life. Yeah. 23. I think he drew off of both triggers before yeah, discarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. He did clearly keep them both at the front of his hand. This is friendly, non yeah. uh, non REL. And we're seeing another dig through time here. I, I, honestly, I'm surprised he didn't pitch the curse catcher, though. Curse catcher? I mean, the not the curse catcher, the um, fate stitcher. Ah. I think he doesn't want to get a rest in peace. Sure. He might just <coughs> because it. he can be he can pitch it to this uh, dig through time right, right. now. Is Still this dig in Bogner's turn? I believe it's the end of. Believe it's the end of Bogner's turn. I could be wrong. Okay. All right. So there's dig, one. Dig is responding. Or Ooh, and there's a young pyromancer, which Chuck That's is good. just pitching away. He has a humble defector in his hand as well. He does have a humble defector. And now Dig is resolving. Yep. There's a good taxing pro. Did it take some. Yeah, but. but uh, yeah. What did he. No, he's putting. He's leaving the good taxing pro. Wagner has what? Land, helm, force of will in hand. So not, Ugh, not too much. Not much. So if Chuck can get things going here. He does have countertop, though. So, like. But you can't counter on Earth. Sure. I, if I was Chuck, I would have tried to go for it. Because he's still getting two triggers a turn. So, I mean, he's still getting the triggers every time he's casting something. I mean, this goes back to when I was playing Ascendancy in Modern. Like, when I was playing Ascendancy in Modern, uh, some guy got a Chalice out against me. I was playing against Infinity, and they went Chalice on one. And I still ended up being able to kill him. Yeah. But you still get to counter the stuff. So right. you still get your triggers, and you still get to draw. So, so you think he should have kept around the Young Pyromancer? Uh, I would have kept around the Young Pyromancer, sure. But I also might have gone and tried to go off. Yeah. That turn, um, especially since you do have two ascendancies in play, you have two ascendancies and you have a land that you can pitch think, to kind of like. I think get Chuck is going. just like waiting as long as he can. Sure, which is fine. Because like Bogner has not put up any sort of offense. <laughs> Fate Stitcher looks like the guy is uh, from the Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon, kind of. I'm not too sure. I don't know. All I know is the Yu-Gi-Oh guy, the it Pharaoh. It's sweet art. I do like the art. The foil's pretty cool, too. 
I'm sure it is. Uh, so Helm is just coming out. That's the other. I think Bob Fulger would prefer to have the other half of the combo. Oh, I would agree, a hundred percent. We'll bring up Helm of Obedience really quick. All right, we might see Chuck activate Humble Defector here, or not. Oh, no, all right, so he's stager. going for it. Yeah. We have a Fate Stitcher in play. It is. It is time. It's so. on. He is activating Humble Defector. Okay, he's got a Humble Defector activation token. That's pretty sweet. All right, so Bog... Yeah, Still so, on the stack, so, he's trying to Fate Stitcher untap Humble Defector. Yeah, so Bogner is responding to Terminus. the Fate Stitcher activation. Force Chuck will. is going to force a will. In response, Bogner is going to force a will. <laughs> Chuck is going to force a will. Chuck's going down... To 21. Lots of triggers. There are, there are a few tr triggers happening right now. Uh, Bog Bogner's at 12. This is not a high barrier for oh Bogner to get across right now. This is like, a lot Chuck's, of guys Chuck's, at, Chuck's at lethal right now, right? Chuck just has to leave uh, Dig Through Time. Like That's what he needs to find, right? No, I think Chuck's just got lethal. Because he All gets right. to untap, yeah. And he's got how many... He's got, yeah, I know, because, yeah, Chuck's at lethal on board right now. <laughs> just just, just does. Uh, granted, the, granted, the Humble Defector, the humble defector it needs to be given to... But he's still got the Homeward Path in hand. Well, he, it needs to be in play. Yeah, so he just plays it. He hasn't played a land for this turn. When does it get... Given? When does Humble Defector get given away? On pawn Thank resolution, you for right? Yeah, uh, not humble. at the end of the turn. Yeah, it's upon resolution. But so the land would have to be in play. Uh, homeward path. Uh, but Anaki Kaki Kaka 123. Thank no. you for replay. Yeah, I so don't no, think it's all going to resolve. Just, yeah, no, he plays it, and then he just uh, makes just it immediately take, come back. Sure. Grant, he can't swing that way. Okay, so uh, Fate Stitcher is a little bit less there. Um, oh god, there's another Fate Stitcher. Yeah. Yeah, this is... He just wants to get Dig Through Time as the one card in his hand. Or, like, any cantrip, frankly. Yeah. Like, any of this is going to be good. He has enough lands. How big are his guys? <laughs> like, gigantic? This gets given away now, I think. Uh, no, he's doing it again. Doing it again. He's just drawing another two. Sure. So he's going to have to go up to three cards in hand? Blah! All right, so now <laughs> there's another... Four just guys on to see triggers. And he's going to get to do it again. He's yeah. Gonna humble defector is again. Oh my goodness gracious. This is pretty gross. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't fate the trigger again before casting this brainstorm. Or though, I guess. This, I mean, unearth is sorcery yeah. speed? In, in, or instant? Huh? Is unearth sorcery or instant sorcery. speed? Sorcery. Okay. I wish it was instant. Oh my so god. This is still all on the stack. So he yeah. couldn't actually bring the fate the trigger back before brainstorming here. No. Yeah. He can't. Okay. Um. He's just gonna be able yeah, to because as later. soon as as soon as he would be able to bring uh, Fate Stitcher back, Humble Defector is going over to Ryan. Sure. Um, so I'm guessing Chuck's gotta have another. Oh no, because he's just able to tap down. He's gonna be able to tap down Humble Defector. Like that's perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah, but with with Fate Stitcher. With the one that's coming back. No, no, with the one here, because then you just cast another spell and oh, he untaps sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, this seems very lethal. Oh man. So. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, all right. Chuck is gonna do some things. Yeah, Bo Bogner. Yeah, Bogner was tapped out. There that was nothing. Was nothing. Nothing that could happen there. Double force. Yeah, Chuck's re Chuck's trigger reminder cards though. They're actually pretty nice. Oh, they seem yeah. very necessary in that. Like that stack was super complicated. There was so much crap on there. Yeah, I know. But I mean, it's like from Chuck's perspective though. If Chuck just memorizes all of that, yeah. And just, just, calls it out, then he puts a lot of like um, stress on his opponent to be able to call Chuck on everything he's doing. I think it doing. helps him as well, though. No, I think it does. I'm just saying. like that's right. it, That could be kind of a hindrance as well, but yeah. like I also don't know if it's a bad of a thing. It's valuable for keeping up proper communication. How big are you guys? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty big. 6'5", 315. Greg's like 5'2". Uh, uh, buck yeah. one. Yep, nailed it. <laughs> Seems about right. I am six two. <laughs> you ass. Ah, you're shorter than me. Sorry. Yep. Midget. Uh, what is happening here? I think he is showing the cards to Bogner. Not okay. sure why. <sighs> I think he might have been showing him Homeward Path. 
Well, yeah, I mean, he had Homeward Path, Humble Defector, and Fade Stitcher. Yeah, I don't know. So what is what is what is Chuck siding out here, though? Well, I imagine he sides in. Um. Huh. Like Pyroblast seems good here. I don't know what Quicken really does. Uh, you can get a, you can get it through a. Uh, it doesn't make it uncounterable. It just says you can oh, cast you just a sorcery it, yeah, it just at gives instant it kinda, speed. Yeah. Right. It's not even. It, it's not like you can play the chess guys and see at instant speed. It's just sorcery. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, Jeff and off. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, there's still not a get. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, what the fuck? I'm new to watching Legacy. Uh, so Akane, basically, he used this card, Jeskai Ascendancy. To do a lot of crazy shit. Used this card, yeah, to do some crazy shit. Jeskai Ascendancy along with, uh, Fate Stitcher here, uh, to do even more crazy shit. And Humble Defector. Uh, and Humble Defector a little bit. Did some crazy whatever. Mostly Fate Stitcher. Yeah, mostly Fate <laughs> Stitcher. And then the trigger's coming from stuff. Uh, Turducken 99 thank you for following. Uh, yeah, we still have the Vindicate to give away, guys. We still have the Vindicate. Don't worry about it. Christian Ryan, 6'3", still getting taller. Bigger than you, Greg. Yep. Bigger than you. I'm a small guy. Uh, <laughs> what's the difference between Legacy, Modern, Limited, and etc.? So, Vintage, so there's 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 multiple types. So there's multiple formats of magic. So there's going to be vintage, which is the oldest. That's well, encompassing almost all cards. Overall, the main legacy, formats. Legacy and vintage have a lot of similarities, except vintage has a restricted list, which means there are certain cards you couldn't play one copy of instead of four. But then legacy doesn't have any restricted cards, so anything you can play, you can play four of. But it has a more extensive ban list. So there are fewer of those like crazy cards like Black Lotus or the Moxes or Ancestral Recall. You can't play any of those. Uh, then Modern is sort of bridging the gap between those old formats like Vintage and Legacy and bridging the gap to Standard. So Modern is only cards from about the last 10 years of the game as opposed to the game's history, which is about 20 years old. Yeah. And then Limited is strictly whatever sets are in print currently. Yeah. The current most, block most often, is yeah. the current block. So, like, a block begins in October of a given year and continues for one year. So, Limited is going to be the most recent sets. Standard comprises the most two recent blocks. I'd like to point out Bogner's shirt. Yes. Uh, Bogner shirt, uh, raving right now. Raving? Yeah, watch. <laughs> Look at it. Oh. <laughs> it was going a lot faster. Why dark red, bright red, red, dark. Uh, I don't know. It's something with the camera. Uh, but Crisis Troy, thank you for following. And Injected Bull, thank you for following. Uh, much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. We'll be giving away, again, that signed of Vindicate here uh, relatively soon. We don't know when. Ooh, looks like Chuck's on a mulligan now. Chuck is on a mulligan. Oh, modern is easy to remember where any card in the modern frame is legal. Mm, except for ones that are banned. Well, <laughs> sure. Also, there are cards that were reprinted from old card frames onto new card frames. So the ones with old card frames are still legal because they're the same card, just with a different printing. Yeah. I don't know. And yeah, they're, they're that's pointing a general out the, rule. Yeah, general rule. Yeah. Um, Alright, good night, man. You have a good one. Does it sound like I'm having like an aneurysm yes, every time? Every good. time. Uh, so Ryan gonna go oh, we didn't reset life or do anything here. Oh, my fault. Yeah, it's, it's Greg's fault. Greg's fault. Shh. Also chucks up again. Thanks for talk taking the fall, Greg. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm the fall guy. You are the fall guy. Uh so anyway. Uh, um Ryan going uh, island and then top. Topping during upkeep. Going to play a volcanic island. Pass the turn back over to Chuck. That's Chuck's got a pyromancer. Chuck's. Uh, do you? I. Do you, might. If you're Chuck, it. do you just like ram it? Might. Uh, Chuck going to go to 19, fetching one land. Let's see if he fetches that second one. Might want to get value. At least try to. 
I wish the sub. I wish like commander and stuff was legal and modern because that would be mm. a well no because that would be a great way they for would, them to be able to introduce cards into modern without them having to run it through standard. They would have to um, look at it with a lot greater scrutiny because sure. like look at true name nemesis. <laughs> Well, sure, that but would I mean that's modern up. Yeah, but they're also not necessarily they're not they're not unwilling to throw the band hammer around in modern. Sure. So like if you're just like, "Hey, this set's legal except for this card yes. in modern." Like again, it's just a yeah, great way to introduce things to modern without having be, running it through It standard. would be. It would just require them to do a lot more development work with those sets. Cold Snap is not legal in standard, but it is legal in modern and legacy and vintage. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just ordered a couple cards from MG Card Market. Are you guys employees running the stream or just players at their shop? Uh, the latter. Yeah. So, Crisis. Uh, We're friends with them, though. Yeah, we like we, we definitely know the owners. Um, myself they, and a few other guys decided that we wanted to start streaming Magic. Um, so, I bought all the gear and I talked to a couple stores in the local area and was like, hey, do you mind if we stream your tournaments? They were like, okay. So, that's why some nights we stream from MGG Card Market, other nights we stream from uh, Chicago. Chicago Land Games Dice Dojo. Yep. So, that's on Mondays. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. We stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Yep. Mondays Legacy, 7 o'clock Central Time. Wednesday Modern, 7 30 Central Time. Thursday Modern, or Thursday Legacy, excuse me, 7.30 Central Time. Obviously, since we're watching Legacy right, right now. We would like to get into standard streaming. The problem is, like, the best days for, for covering standard would be, like, Friday night, Sunday afternoon, which are sort of, like, our more social girlfriend... <laughs> well, it's, 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 time it's not even that, because, I mean, like, on Wednesday, like, Sydney and Ryan have kind of taken over Wednesday That's for me, true. so I don't have to worry about that. It's a matter of getting people to volunteer for... FNM. Like, well, just volunteer to be commentating and actually be willing to step up and commentate every week That's true. moving forward. So, past that, I'm willing to let anybody do really anything, so we're going to... But, anyway, back to the match a little bit. Ryan's <laughs> going to try to play Rest in Peace. Uh, Chuck's going to force it. Um, so Chuck is going to go down to 18 from here. Uh, then Ryan's going to do some fancy shenaniganing. Uh, he's going to basically play Brainstorm. He's going to look for a Force of Will. He finds a Force of Will. He's going to cast it back, countering that Force of Will. So Chuck's, uh, so that puts Ryan at 18 as well. However, uh, and Chuck's going to fetch. Mm -hmm. That's going to put uh, Chuck down to 17. And then now imagine we're going to see the... Yeah, the Young Pyromancer, that's going to resolve. And a Ponder, so we're going to get a Young Pyromancer trigger. There's a token. Ponder's going to resolve. Huh. It's going to be good. Pretty crazy sequence there. Uh, guess Rest in Peace is super valuable against Chuck. Yeah, so, and, uh, here, rah, 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 rah. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. There's a question of what's the best deck in standard right now. Um, Abzan Minrage, I'd have to agree with what they were saying in chat. Greg, you're more familiar with standard than I am. What are you? What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, I think Abzan Minrage, some, whatever build makes the most sense at the moment is tier one. But I do think though that like that's not necessarily a deck that everyone should play because like that deck is not in everyone's play style. Like it's definitely not in my own. Very true. I would probably play some, like it. some version of, like, red-white tokens with Outpost Siege. I like whip decks. I like giant creatures. That's not Abzan midrange. Okay. Well, I know. Okay. <laughs> I like the Abzan whip decks, I should say. Sure. Either way, uh, looks like Chuck is swinging in response. Uh, Bogner's topping. Looks like nothing's going to happen. Uh, Bogner's going to take three. He's going to go down eight, 15 here. Excuse me. You can me. just stick Helm of Obedience. The game will end. Um... This is just kind of a race. Yeah. Looks like a Bogner has a Containment Priest in hand, actually. That's that's just good against Young Pyromancer tokens. Well, it's non-token. No, I mean, it's just good oh, at Oh, because it blocks it? <laughs> sure, but he's got a Jeskai Sun to see him play now, okay. so... All right. Yeah, Just right. tokens are going to be right, much bigger. Right, right. Yeah. Ooh, that's a Helm. Chuck has Ooh, one turn. God. Chuck has one turn. That's going to be... I mean, it's possible. It is It is certainly possible that Chuck can do this. I mean, he could also have Wear Tear in his deck, but it doesn't look like he has it in hand is the problem. And he's not going to have enough mana unless he's got a... Yeah, because that's looks like that's a dig through time. Yeah, I mean, he has Jeskai Ascendancy in hand. 
he could try to find a probe to make his creatures bigger, but only having two attackers is really rough here. He has to, like, chain probe into probe, right? He doesn't have it. He has a land in hand. Yeah. Uh. Uh. It's attack for five. All right. Not good enough. Just gonna make him do it. Yeah, which is... Which yep. is All right, <laughs> yeah, that's... Not gonna make him do it. Okay. So, moving on to game three. I think Chuck's much better if he's on the play. Yes. Yeah. But, I mean, that's like most combo decks. Just I wonder gonna... if he has Wear Tear in his deck. I've got Wear Tear for you. I'll like Wear and Tear, you know. If I, were, something, if something. I were a blue, white, red legacy deck, I would Can't definitely play card. some amount of Wear Tear. Sure. Wear and Tear is a good card. It's very good we'll, card. We'll bring up Wear and Tear. We're talking about it. Why not? It would. It's very good against this version of Miracles. Very good. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> nope. You can almost read it. <laughs> nope. All right, so there's Wear. That's tough. There's Wear. There's, there's tear. So where one there. red destroys target artifact, tear one white. So one in a red, excuse me, destroys target artifact. Thanks, one gatherer. white destroys target enchantment. Um, okay. Well, give me another card real quick, Greg. What are we? Fire ice. Well, nope. We're little terminus because she's fire and ice is going to do the same damn thing. That was why bad I person. requested it. Yep. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Oh, God. So how does Helm win? So Helm is using Rest in Peace. Yes, and then, pull up Helm and then of Helm. Obedience. Yeah, if you want to, you explain it while, while I'm pulling up Helm. Uh, Helm of Obedience says... I've never cast it. Oh, the, so... The top card of target well, here, opponent's read, library... Read the, here, read, read, uh, the, read the Oracle text. Target it makes a lot more pay sense. X and tap it. Target opponent puts cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard until a creature card or X cards are put into that graveyard this way, whichever comes first. If a creature card is put into the graveyard this way, sacrifice Helm Obedience and put that card onto the battlefield under your control. The so, problem is, if no cards are ever put into the graveyard, you just keep going. Yeah. And um, so basically you activate it for one and you have to keep going. Yes. Um, fun thing here. Yes. I saw, uh, I've actually seen Helm of Obedience come in off of a show and tell. Okay. And I don't think the opponent knew, the show and tell player, I don't think they knew what Helm of Obedience really did. Okay. Um, and they brainstormed, putting back on top an Emrakul. Oh, God. Uh, Helm, the player that flashed in Helm of Obedience, Helm of Obedience for three... <laughs> Uh, the, the God most, said Emrakul. The, the most you could do. Yeah. The, he just tapped for three mana yeah. because that's all he had. And then got an Emrakul facing down that Grizzlebrand. Uh, absurd. Hashtag got there. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Only, yeah. only in Legacy. Only in Legacy. So. Yeah. So because Rest in Peace. Yeah, because Rest in Peace is out and exiles all the cards in the graveyard. Just nothing, nothing ever hits the graveyard, so Helm just keeps going. That's basically how that ends up being. Um, so Bogner, uh, or Bogner, I've been calling him Bogner for years, and then I confirmed that it's Bogner, and now I'm having hard times. I feel like he changed his name. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, Bogner at 18, <laughs> Chuck at 19, hashtag Fetchland suck, all this damage being done. Yeah. Mana consistency not worth it. Not for this couple extra points of damage. Not at all. No. It's bad things. Oh, what's Mary's? What Mar What's Mary's aunt? Jesus Christ! What is Mary Ann's screen name? Uh, I don't think she has one. Mary what's your screen name? I know you're in chat. I don't she think she enters the chat. No, she's in chat. Actually, no. I think she's ex Sasquatch. <laughs> she's not ex Sasquatch. <laughs> oh God, bless. <laughs> so here we're going to see a young pyromancer come again, and we're going to see a blind. F oh. See a blind flip on the counterbalance, revealing force of will, and then he is forcing the young pyromancer. Ooh, and that's really. Uh, Ooh. What does this do? So, what does this do? Young oh, pyromancer drawing a card. He's just trying to draw and hit a counter spell. Yeah. Okay. I thought he had a force in hand. No. All right. That make far less. I don't know what that would far be. Far less yeah. exciting. I don't. But oh, we know because Quicken's just sorcery, right? Yes. Oof. And it just gives it a flash. I guess he Never was, mind. He was just there was, there was just nothing. He was just uh, trying to hit a force. But he had a but uh Bogner had a force on top. Oh, so right. blind flip yeah. counterbalance so I don't know. counters. 
Uh, there's a Jeskai Ascendancy. Do you just start running those out? Yep. Especially because you know Bogner, Bogner has at least one force, like... Lingering? I think you just have yeah. to fight oh, through nope. it, I think. Did Bogner force? Oh, Bogner, Bogner did force. So Bogner actually is at 17. Yeah. This is and a bad spot for Chuck. Chuck is at 18. Matchup seems kind of hard for Chuck, really. Especially yeah, I mean, if, Bo if Bogner's going to have top and a counterbalance on turn two every game, it's going to not be great for Chuck. I didn't realize you were dating Stefan, Greg. Uh, yes. Congratulations. Uh, Chelsea's control. That's, uh, <laughs> all right, fair enough. Uh, so here's the Jeskai Ascendancy coming out. Uh, Bogner trying to figure out what he's going to do. Let's see. Uh, has anyone seen a counterbalance, counter a delve spell? Um, I saw at the open, I saw a Tossiger countered by a, um, <laughs> shit, what's the high tide card? Oh god! The six, the six man yeah, high tide. Yeah, time spiral. Time spiral. What? I saw uh, a time spiral counter a Tosiger. She boarded. Was it feline? Mm-hmm. She boarded in counterbalance. Yep. She boarded. She wanted to counterbalance top. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very crazy so, that that deck plays that now. I mean, I mean it was good. it was good. It would yeah. shut down. Also, I, again, a side note: feline Lugmore. She is a fucking machine. She's very good at that. Deck. I mean, I have seen her play like on camera. Yeah. Seeing her play on camera, nothing compared to in real life. Oh, she's a, she her, is terrific at playing. See, that deck. Seeing her play in real life, she was just like, "All right, so high tide, high tide, high tide, uh, 16, 14, 84, 7, 4, 6, 6, mana." And I was just like, "Jesus, Christ, I believe you." <laughs> I, that's that's all I can do. Did you play against her? No, Kyle did, uh, and I watched that game because I rolled my opponent like two turns. <laughs> Did she uh, beat the <laughs> crap out of Kyle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. Again, Tossiker got countered by a time <laughs> spiral. Oh, it was bad. That's yeah, nice it was That's bad. hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it was not good. Not good. So, Feline, if you're watching, you're quite impressive. I don't think she's watching. No. I don't think any pros, actually, have ever turned it tuned into here. I told Marianne that Stefan's pretending to be her. Or rather, ex Sasquatch so is pretending to be how offended is Marianne right now? <laughs> She's on board. She likes I would, Stefan. I would be very offended. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I should shout out that uh, Stefan is planning the triumphant return of the Harry Potter TCG game mm. at uh, Gen Con this summer. Yeah. And we're going to be holding the world championship. So, That's not uh, going to happen. Anyone want to show up? I'm going to I'm going to help make it happen. No, it's a great no, it's a not. really good game. No you're not. It's an awesome game. Oh god. So I feel bad I feel bad for Chuck. Uh, shout out. Things are not HP, going well from. <laughs> uh Temple Chat Press. Uh I figure why we're playing Chuck. obsessively search. Okay. Yeah, watching Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm here. Oh, baby, wouldn't be better to quit. Okay, the gather. What version of Matt? Uh, Mark is know. mumbling the chat. <laughs> yep, he's really good at reading. <laughs> what is this out of Chuck? Uh, the tag team bro? Seems like he's Pain trying to, to counterbalance it. So it seems like the... And he pitched a land. It seems like the probe was countered. Yeah, because yes. top was put back. Looks like an upkeep. So after his draw. No, end of his oh, draw is done. Oh, I see. It brings... Uh, loot? Okay. I think he's just looking for a red blast. Yeah. Well... Didn't find it. Sure. I mean, he could, he could play a spell... He could quicken, but I guess he just brainstormed. Yeah. And here's top again. Yeah, he really needed a hit red blast there. Yeah. Defector, pretty good. Top in response, I believe. Try to find a two. No two to be had. Nope, two to be had. No. This, this is, is bad for Chuck. Yeah, I, just, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see this going well. No. Chuck had to hit a red blast. Yeah. Off of that, red that, blast. that there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Ex Sasquatch missed my shout out. What a jag off. 
<laughs> Clearly. <laughs> um, oh, and there's a Jace coming down from Ryan. This is a really bad spot for Chuck. Yeah. Also, and Ryan's and, got a force in hand. And also, Bogner can just find his own red blast at any point and eliminate Chuck's last threat. Yeah. This is this is pretty rough. This is a really bad spot for Chuck. Uh, so he's going to... Tr- okay, activating Fate Stitcher. Okay. So he's going to try to make a go for it? Untap. So he untaps. Lightning Bolt targeting Jace. <laughs> Chuck being the judge he is, <laughs> layering things correctly. Yeah. So he's going to try to counter this. I see. I saw a counterbalance, a top, and... Or a counterbalance, a helm. And it looks like... So the loot resolves before the uh, counterbalance yeah. resolves. And Chuck able to pitch another Fate Stitcher. There is a one. Oof. Chuck really needs something like Dig to get around. Oh, he can't do this in instant speed, so... No. Um, Does he, is he looking for a force, maybe? The problem... I mean, Quicken is just going to get countered as well. So, like, what does this accomplish? It just makes his Fate Stitcher... His one Fate Stitcher bigger. He's just trying to kill the Jace with his Fate Stitcher? Yeah. Oh... Uh, <laughs> This is not good so for Chuck. So Chuck could brainstorm, but it's still going to get counter. Yeah. Um, how is, big was that? So it was, This is horrific for Chuck. It was three? It was three. He was just trying to kill the Jace. Baby steps. Yeah. Uh, just going to kill Jace. Wait, did Phil Silver... <laughs> is Phil, did Phil leave? No. I think he was playing. He was 2-0 when I checked. Stream lagging constantly for anybody else. We haven't really dropped any frames. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, RPM gone wild. I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe I'll turn down the bit rate for next for next stream yeah. since it seems like a couple people. It's only a couple people that have been complaining, but the fact that a couple people have been complaining, yeah, it might just be on slower internet. It's not great. Sure. Because right now we're pumping out pretty high. Yeah. So. All right, Chuck setting up the stack here. Brainstorm is getting countered with a hard cast force of will, <laughs> yeah. and Chuck is on empty. So it looks like Phil split with Pino and they went home. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't. I don't see Chuck getting out of this one. Nope. Yeah. This Jace is just going to win the game, yeah. eventually. It's just going to be uh, long and painful. And don't forget, again, courtesy of MTG Card Market, we have a signed Vindicate. And if you guys like these giveaways, please go to their Facebook page, like their Facebook page, write messages on their Facebook page saying, hey, we watch Wooberg, we like the giveaways, we want to see bigger and better giveaways, and we'll make it happen. We'll probably be giving this Vindicate away at the end of this game, I imagine? Yeah, probably. Considering this is the end of the tournament? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to wait an hour. We're just going to ramble for an hour. Greg. Sounds great. I'm going to leave. You're not leaving. I'm oh, no. No, you're not leaving. On. No. No, not at all. So it seems like Chuck really needs a dig through time to try to do something to get out of this horrific position that Countertop has put him in. Yeah. I need to finish this beer. You do. You've been nursing that for a long time. I have been nursing this. It's because of the the tired eyes. What percentage is that? Like ten? I don't know. It's pretty high. It's well, you peeled, it peeled off all the writing on it. So yeah, <laughs> it's something. Excess squash. You have to put exclamation point raffle don't, like all no, the other no, people. No. Don't stop. <laughs> it's not even worth it. Uh, Athro, thank you for following. Um. Ex Sasquatch, you have to go yeah, go run around outside in the snow with no shoes on. Yeah, to you have to jack off on camera, <laughs> post it to Facebook. Yeah, as a Sasquatch. That's how you do it. Dressed as a Sasquatch. Rest in peace. There's an rest in peace. This bye is... bye, dig through time. And I know Ryan has been floating a helm. I wonder if Chuck is riding. Oh, a helm is in his hand. 
Is Chuck writing my- I concede? <laughs> flood? No, he's writing Flood. No. I think he's writing, he should be writing uh, Counterbalance. <laughs> Ugh, Carnivore, thank you for following. Dead, dead. Yeah, that's rough. Dead, dead. All right. Ugh. That's the tournament. <laughs> Bogner probably going to get third. Or- <laughs> Bogner probably going to get third or fourth on Breakers. Uh, it's 2 1 the other direction. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Ryan Bogner taking down that match, defeating Jeskai Ascendancy, complete yeah. with Humble Defector. All right, so now we're bringing it back to the roof. All right, now we will... Uh, Don't you have to open the raffle? Aren't all these people joining the raffle? Yeah, no, there's no raffle going on right now. <laughs> They're just joining. It's good. Good uh, chat. Good chat, guys. Uh, let me just... Let me, I'm going to get in on this. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold you on. You are not typing. Uh... Uh, (laughs) RPM gone wild. No, you don't need to jack off post to Facebook. Yeah, Uh, XS. That's only S Sasquatch. Um, All right, guys. So, again, this is what we're giving away. Uh, Signed Vindicate. All right. It's uh, signed by the artist. uh, By the artist. Yeah. Not either of us. However, if you win and you would like us to draw penises. Or whatever. Or sign our name or draw whatever you would like. Yeah. We are more than a Greg and I will tag team this bad boy. We'll We're do not it. We'll promising. Do, we'll fine do art. it on we'll do it on stream. We'll get a nice Sharpie. Only and it'll if be you great. Want. We can also send it out as is. We can send it out as is. However, I would love if you let me draw things on this. Well because that yeah. would be sweet. We could just draw on the sleeve at least. No. It's okay. got to be on the card. All I've right. never drawn on a card before. It'd be so liberating. I have. You have? Yeah. I mean, I've t- I take the bag. I've drawn on, like, penny commons to be proxy cards. But anyway. Nick asked to borrow an Is It Charm for me, so I signed it and then gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and start this. Uh, we're going to start the raffle. Give me a quick sec. Quick sec, guys. Uh, so, we're going to close this. Uh, we're going to reset it. We're going to reset that bad boy. We're going to open it. Hey, guess what, guys? It's open. Just type what everyone else is typing. It's open. Exclamation point raffle. Guys, it's open. 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 Yep. Open. So far, there's three. The odds are very much in your favor. We can see you. This has just gotten a little creepy. Um, I don't know. Everything's good on my end. Yeah. Looks yeah. good to me. It's jumping around a lot. I don't know if that's like a thing. No video. No video. I know Twitch went down earlier. Twitch's main site went down earlier. Oh. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I'll check it out. Yeah, Twitch okay. might be having some issues. Oh, all right, so guys. I don't think this is us. Yeah, it's not us. Damn you, Twitch. Wait, it might be back now. Everyone, keep posting. Hello. Hey. All right. Uh. It was okay. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so apparently the stream... The, it's back up? I don't know. Is that what ha- is that? There are people in the chat. There are people in the chat. Can people hear us? Uh, Tell us if you can hear us, everyone. Twitch is having some issues. Yeah. Not us. Captain RX 3 thank you for following. No, so they can't hear us. Hmm. We we spoke. We said it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Try another stream. See if you can get another stream on. Sure. See if we can get a new mod. So they didn't see me win in glorious fashion. No, they saw that. It just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So new mod's not coming up either. So all of Twitch. Seems to be down. So what, what are you saying is that? Raffle yeah. ending in nice. dot dot dot. Ten. 
Yep. Nine, eight, seven, uh, six, five. This is we're back. Four, three, two. We're back. One. Oh, we're back. They can also Good. see us. Good. Oh, they can see us. Oh no, my hair. Just. I'm doing a doggy. I'm doing a doggy. Do the doggy, Greg. All right, this is ending. Yeah. Actually, if if we're just all right, I'll give it an yeah. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Here we be, draw. <laughs> all right, Captain, you just uh, you just drew, you just uh, you just joined. Captain just joined us. He's gonna win. Sometimes it happens. Pretty good. Captain. Captain Rex, that's the let's elite, Greg. I know you don't necessarily understand the internet lingo. Uh, but that's sense. what that means. So, Captain Rex, congratu congratulations. Uh, you win a... Win I was still hoping a regular would do it so we could draw things on it. They can still have us draw things on it. Yeah, Captain Rex, it, uh, let us know if you want to draw if you want us to draw things on it. Yeah, you can tell us in the chat. Or you can just keep it. It's signed by the artist. Send your name and zip. He and just signed it. Address. His signature just says BS because those are his initials. <laughs> it's Brian Snotty. It's really good art. That's pretty cool. I like it. It just looks like Star Wars. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Did Captain say that we can? Did Captain say we can draw on it? Thank you. First Yo, time here. Twitch is still loading. No comments about drawing on it. No, no. <laughs> well, uh, we're just going to do it anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did you guys want to duck deck? Oh, the, yeah, so people did want the list. So um, I know we, we're going to have to head out relatively sure. soon because I don't think Janison wants to stay too much longer. Um, so do you mind posting it to the Facebook? Sure. All right, so guys. Facebook, uh, <laughs> this is the captain doesn't even know. Captain, you want to sign to vindicate, signed by the artist. If you'd like, Greg and I will draw things on it. Uh, we'll draw things on it and sign it for you as well. You don't have to. If have you'd that. like, you don't have to do that. You can just tell. But us. if you want to, we will. Signed by the artist. We we will. Um, and guys, Chuck says that he will uh, more than happily post the list for the Ascendancy deck on our Facebook page. So it's uh, facebook.com slash wooberg.xyz. So please check us out there. Um, like us if you guys can. Uh, and you'll see that, I'm sure, sometime in the next few days. Greg is turning into Wooberg man. <laughs> uh, so Captain is new to Vindicate. Or new to Magic. So Vindicate... Here, I'll pull Vindicate up on stream for you. It's the best removal spell ever. Vindicate. No, I mean, that's not a bad start into magic. Kills no. everything. It kills yep. everything. So it's, there's a sorcery. One white and a black. Destroy target permanent. It was a very it'll unique be, effect. Yeah, it'll it be a permanent. good start it's still to... still a unique effect, actually. Yeah, it, actually, it's a good start to a collection. It'll be good. That'll be good. Uh, like my heart is breaking. The more Rex speaks... Nemzor, it's it's fine. Yeah, no, nah, I like I love the fact that new players are getting in here and new players are winning. So like, I mean, that's perfectly fine. That card's like yeah. what, thirteen years old. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> this card is worth. Or this card is older than probably some people watching. In, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Captain, this will be a great thing to like. I mean, um, especially if you're beginning to play Magic, then it'll be great for either like a cube if you start doing that, or EDH, or just casual in general. Either way, it'll be a great card for you. So, it'll be good. Um, we're Raven. <laughs> because that's so Raven. Got it! Oh, oh got it. She's right. lesbian. Yeah, we know that. 
doesn't matter. Yeah, All right, yeah, we're wrapping this up, guys. So, guys, everybody, uh, please, again, say thank you to MGG Card Market for the raffles tonight. Um, please go to their Facebook page, like them, uh, leave them a message on their page saying how much you like them and that you would like to see more raffles uh, moving forward. Uh, if you they like also us, sell magic cards. They also sell magic cards, so you, you can, can buy their, things from go them. Go to their website. We have a lot of people that say they buy things from you them. You can check them out yeah. at GPs also. Yeah. They go to a lot of GPs. They had, uh, who was it that wanted to do... Um, God, who was it that came up to them at a GP? I don't it know. Was, uh, one of our Forex viewers? Metamorph. Yeah, it was the Chinese Forex and Metamorph shit. It's one of the regulars. I can't even I can't even think of the name. Anyway. They can tell us in the chat. Yeah, they'll 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 <laughs> throw it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so guys, and if you liked us, please check us out on Facebook. Uh, we post funny things, uh, some serious things, post a lot of deck lists there. Uh, follow us on YouTube or subscribe to us on YouTube. I've been a little bit lax lately. However, most of the video should be up tomorrow because I'll be hopped up on drugs from going to the dentist. So the videos that I have not posted will be up. All of our streams get posted there. So you can watch us there. Um, if anyone, Twitter, we say funny things on Twitter. If anyone's interested in my tournament report from Indy, I put it on the source in the Death and Taxes thread. Did you? Yeah. Link it on the link it on the yeah, I page. Could. I could. Yeah, why not? Right. Um, so, and then, Captain, uh, I sent you a message, so look at your messages on Twitch, and, um, you'll need to send me your name, your zip code, and your address, and I'll get it out to you. So, uh, uh, we sent you a message, <laughs> ask Captain. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Yep. All right. We're out of here. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna take off from there. We'll be back next Monday, seven o'clock from Dice Dojo in Chicago. I think it's your Twitch inbox. Yeah, your Twitch inbox. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, that'll be it. We're gonna go, we're gonna head out, guys. So we'll see everybody. Thank you everybody for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see everybody on Monday, like Greg said. All right. See you guys. Bye! Enjoy the Pro Tour. Yeah, this Pro Tour is going to be good. I'm excited that it's modern, not standard of limited. Yeah. Just fuck those formats. <laughs>